Playing us in, little jank jonk. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's not even over. Can't be over. Alright. Now it's, it's over. Good. Thanks, Brian, for joining me. Happy to have you here. Hey, we're back. It's the BPS. What's up, everyone? Poorly Played Stream is brought to you by King Lord Abhishakra. Brian That's himself right. is here presenting a, a fabulous, entertaining show yep. we have laid in front of you. It's the hot, sizzling summer, man. It's been it's been warm, it's been, man. It's been warm, and I've been... I like it. I gotta tell you, I've been been pushing it to the limit. Yeah? I'm going the extra mile. I've just been exerting myself very physically lately. And mixed in with the heat, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm wiped out. I'm feeling tired. Today I, was the I first day I said, don't overdo it. Just rest. I feel it, man. Take some time to rest, rehabilitate. And I tell you what, uh, I like I like this feeling. Good. When I go hard like this, ooh, it go feels hard, good. Go like real hard, hey, go, bitch. Go real hard. Uh, and now, how hard do you go? You've been going hard lately. Oh, I, I go hard like, like Krayshawn. Oh, Gucci, Gucci, Louie, Yeah, well, Louie, no, her song, Go Hard. Fendi, Fendi, Prada. It's a really I, good song I, if you never checked it out. I, I know the one. I, you know, I'm sad yeah. to say. I, I'm a Crayshawn fan. I'm a big connoisseur of hers. Connoisseur. I like the look and everything. I'm screaming Free J Nasty. Uh, the whole deal, you know. Her, yeah. Her other friend, too, I was into. You know. Yeah, the, the one that never said anything. That was a great look with Love the big square-framed glasses, Leopard baby. Print tights. Oh, oh 2012. Oh, God, God damn. I'm getting horny now just thinking oh, about it. Oh, man. Oh. I'm getting horny now just thinking Sorry, about it. Sorry, I've got I lost train of thought here. Brought up Krayshawn. Thinking about Oakland and representing. 
Uh, now, we are playing for the Metal Gear Summer. It's more time again of everyone's favorite spinoff. But uh, a lot of people, they consider it mainline, right? I do. Myself included. I consider the story as mainline as a spinoff can get. It's still technically a spinoff. I'll give you that. Because it, it doesn't say solid there, right? Nope. Well, also, here's the thing, too. That doesn't mean shit. Because the first two games on the MSX, they didn't say solid. No. And they're canon. Right. Story-wise, right? Yeah. There's some some continuity things there, I, you know. I, I really believe that Vector had it right. Where, Machine Gun Kid? Uh, what, what did Vector have right? Yes. Well, each uh, each name is a designation of what type what of... What type of game, Yeah, yes. so Solid is the third, uh, third person stealth action uh, espionage <laughs> type of game. Metal Gear was just Metal Gear. Just the top-down? Top-down original. This is Metal Gear Revengeance. Metal here? Gear Survive exactly the same way. It wasn't Metal Gear Solid Survive. It was Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Acid. Was that Metal Gear Solid Acid? Yeah, it was just Metal Gear Acid. Right? So that Nothing was a... Solid is the denominator, so it would never have that. Right. So It acid would never have two denominators. Based. And then there was the other game, Portable Ops, right? Yes, and it was just Metal Gear Portable Ops, right? Me that was Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Oh, it was Portable Solid Ops. Portable Ops. Okay. Okay, but that one... But, like, even, like, Portable Ops 2, I don't think people consider that storyline canon. No. And but they, Portable uh, Ops has some stuff with Null, who's, like, supposedly, like... We should play pre, those pre next Pre-Gray gray Fox. Yeah, maybe we do play those. We oh, should do shit. Portable Ops 1 and 2, or at least one next at year. At least one next year. I was playing them uh, right here on the right, old that, this PSP is... Go. Oh, wow. All through uh, Anime Expo. I had this thing dangling on my... Um, Nice. It, it's so light you can put it on your badge lanyard. Mm -hmm. So I, I just get bored of the booth one. and I'd pop it up and that it's, game is hard. Yeah. Portal Ops is fucking hard. It's so hard as fuck. It might take me a while. Yeah. Well, I mean, just fuck around with it. Yeah, yeah. This I was thinking, you know, Gaiden, <clears throat> the Metal Gear on the Game Boy Color. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Right. I have that. I and we could definitely like emulate that now with a uh, Delta or some of the other apps that they put out. RetroArch, I got too on the phone. Uh huh. Man, I mean, Android's had this forever, but thank God the iPhone finally yeah. got good emulators. And you can do it on Steam Deck, too, so... Be For shiz! It's way... It's probably the ah, easiest on... snap, dog. That's actually, what we do. Yeah, now, now with the phones having, like, RetroArch and Delta on there, it's actually super easy to emulate games on them. Yeah, and I just, just like, get... wirelessly, or even plug a fucking cable in and capture the footage I, and I'm, stream it to you guys. Right? Like, oh, I'm, shit! I'm positive... Guys. I'm positive I'm going to buy a backbone. <laughs> yeah. Um... But I'm just waiting for the new iPhone to come out because I still got a 14 with the USB, uh, with, with the lightning port, not the USB C. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm still on lightning. Yeah. So, I, I don't fuck with that USB C yeah. yet. All right, there you go. So this is how we're learning to play the game again. It's square yes. and the direction of the attack. So those are successful parries. And you always get a good little like look at right it. after the flash of light. You can start Sorry. holding. And you, I'm just button mashing it. Yep, oh, and, 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 and now that you've kind of gotten the rhythm a couple of times, you'll you'll be able to keep doing it. What I gotta remember too is like, okay, I can only hit him with basic. What is it? Oh, that's not good. The whole uh, how do I heal thing too? <laughs> is it Down. left on the D-pad? I don't think I have anything left. No, I got none. There's also a little icon. Down okay, the that's point? run. Yeah, I got none. Uh -oh. If I look, recovery, nada. Uh, yeah. Four uh, electrolytes. Electrolyte. We're full on that, though. Oh, blade mode two is like this. Nope. It's that. It's L1 or R. I can't remember. We'll figure it out, folks. Either, we'll figure right? it out. Oh, I don't oh, have my death. What the fuck? Oh, guys, I don't have my death noise loaded. Hold on. Load, yes. Oops. I owe them. Hold on. Let me go into blade mode for a sec while we get this out. There we go. It was worth it. <laughs> hey. Okay, these are practice rounds. This is me getting used to the character after the fucking little red flash. Got him again. Got him again. And again. Take this. Where are you? Oh shit, behind me. This is what Vex said, doesn't really do shit. Or a couple of our callers were guiding me in that. That's right, I gotta get rid of that nasty habit. Yeah. But you know, it's fun to like slow down and like, okay, I can breathe. 
but he doesn't give a fuck about yeah. Matrix time, you know. And basically, I can only hit him with my triangle and my square attacks. The whip is pretty good. Thanks, Mistral. Oh, yeah. I've been putting that to use. I got no healing. It starts with no healing items, which is kind of bullshit. Do I get him by striking his ass? Parrying him? First of all, lock on, too, right? You get them when he sh uh, shoots buildings and connex boxes at you. Okay, we're going to get good enough to get some health items that we can automatically replenish by hitting down. We're going to hit square. How do you I can lock? You run around and find them. They're, they're definitely some of the Oh, yeah? Of okay, let me unlock off this fool. Hey, what's up, fool? Oh, shit. Or at least I thought there was. I mean, we're looking. We're, lo we're Don't count us out, Jack. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jack. Kind of sounds like Biden. <laughs> hey, listen, Jack. It's not going to happen. Uh, now, yeah, I want to talk about, uh, we've got Metal Gear Solid Con coming up this Saturday. MGS Con. MGS Con 2. Uh, out in Long Beach, I believe they still have virtual tickets available. You never know, too. Sometimes, like, check the site. Like, stuff opens up. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're local and you want to see Mega64... Coming out with a lot of cool stuff. I died again. Because I'm getting too fucking busy talking about bullshit. Why don't we talk about it though right now, Brian? You know what I'm saying? MGS Con. It's here this Saturday, folks. I cannot wait. Uh, we, like I said, are bringing some cool stuff, some awesome merch. I don't know if we put that out. There was a nice little... Uh, a, a placard Meg put together, but I don't think we have that up yet. But uh, cool merch. We, I will say, uh, we'll definitely have our master collection and some Copy. nice, some nice uh, merchandise that we're selling. But it's not just about that. It's really about the cosplay uh, for me at MGS Con. So I'm bringing two mannequins with a two classic Mega sixty four. You found it, Brian. Thank you, my King Lord. So what? Uh, we've we are bringing two mannequins plus all this beautiful merch out. Uh, both mannequins are gonna have classic Mega sixty four costumes on them, as well as a uh, cool little backdrop that maybe you want to take a photo with uh, another person. It's a great guest spot. A little uh, a little 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 codec noise uh, is all I'm gonna say. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, a panel on site that day, uh, as well as just, you know, the fact that we're going to be at our tables, you know, signing and hanging out uh, with everyone there. So come say hi. Uh, that is right around the corner. It couldn't be better because we are in the middle of Metal Gear Summer, Brian. I know. It's wonderful. Comic-Con right around the corner. Good time. So I'll, I'll talk more about oh, MGS Con. There, so I didn't find anything. I'm just going to lock on and go into the fight. Uh, it's almost like always use square and don't get really caught using triangle because then you always can parry. As well, I... especially at first, like. Oh, here he goes. Oh, how'd he hit? Pop. 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 Who else? Oh, 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 oh. I think you might be able to parry each of those, otherwise I would roll out of the way. Roll out? I'm, I mean, I'm parrying. That's only when I go to triangle, I don't get the parry. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. There, I'm not getting shit. Damn, he really fucking gets me. He's at 73, which ain't bad. It ain't good either. Oh, shit, he was there. Parry. Am I parrying those? That one, that one. No, I can't. I can't do it. What am I gonna do, Brian? You can do it. There's so much I want to talk about. You can also just block. I think L1 is just block. So when he's doing the rapid one, L1, maybe. we'll try L1 as. Well. There's so many things I want to talk about. I have to. We have to talk about. Um, we've just got. We've we've got to get into the. Uh, 
Ooh, just missed him. Just nicked him right ah. there. Um, fight, fight, fight. I want to talk about it. Uh, but I want to get this fucking going, too. We want to talk the conspiracies that are surrounding the attempted assassination. Yeah. Because how Metal Gear is a socio-political world news event that is this latest uh, assassination attempt on on a, uh, a a politician. You know... Not since uh, Abe. Poor Abe. Couldn't get out of the way. He uh, He's gonna brag so much. He's gonna be so annoying now. I mean, I think, you know, the real uh, victim here oh. is poor... You know, want to talk about an attempt... Who, the, the poor father of three behind him who took one to the dome? Well, there was that. Oh. But the real assassination this guy, of this Kyle Gass <laughs> absolutely murdered, left for dead by his fucking oh, friend. Just a, a totally abandoned by by his buddy absolutely. who's getting that Disney money. Absolutely Yeah, I don't know awful. what to think about that, but I, I want to talk about that too. Yeah, Jack Black... Um, and Kyle Gass were on stage, if you don't know. Mm -hmm. The band Tenacious D performing in... Uh, let's just restart that. Mm, yeah, last checkpoint. Um, they, they were in Australia, is that right? Uh, yeah, they were. Interesting. Is it maybe no free speech laws in Australia? I don't know. I don't know. Also, it's a joke band. <laughs> Telling uh, like a, the tamest joke on stage. Yeah, it's so tame. It is weird though. Like uh, you know, um, it's world news. Okay, that's why. Like uh, normally, like I don't like ever want to get fucking political on this show ever. Uh, of course. But this is like this is like a world news event. Like this is crazy. Um, also, uh, nice. we're we're in this time though. Like now, I feel like man, if you make fun of it, then like people that are on one side get offended more than they would normally like you're not allowed i'll make fun of both guys like oh it's crazy <laughs> they had a phone call i guess they talked to each other on the phone the night after yeah i wonder what that sounds like hey how you doing trump you okay <laughs> uh, uh, hey jack how's your oh, glad to hear you're doing all right uh, bro it's very scary very scary and then there's there's tape of rfk now uh just surfaced where he had a phone call leak uh or did it Ooh, but that's what i love it's like man the conspiracy is uh right. is on the rise from every now angle you do ninja mode and you you cut this shit up oh that's how you get help oh shit okay which i don't have yet but i still have ninja mode zandatsu We get this? Uh-huh. We getting this? Now pick it all up. Pick it all up and hit there it. Oh shit, guys. We're on now, a fucking now you go back to doing the parry move until he's gonna lock into him. Until he's open again. You can't hit him when he does when he's doing this. this. Asshole. And I gotta get off my uh, triangle connection. This kid was a reject, a small timer. <laughs> he he bought a stepladder, big whoop, a coward. Uh, I just, it's crazy, man. It's, uh, I can't stop looking at shit on, online. Because I, I didn't know that it was, like, real, I guess, until, I want to say, like, Sunday morning. Because this shit happened. Oh, my God. Very, run, very, right? Very. Run, run, run. Or, yeah. Uh, you can maybe slice it in ninja mode. Uh, that might be a good time to also use ninja mode. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if he's purple like this, you can't attack. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's purple. Shit on me. Yeah, he's doing his little fucking... Okay, I got one more heal. I'm going to wait till I really need it. Yeah, I thought it was a joke at first. Uh, the, the first few times people showed it to me, but... Um, no, it's just... Oh, uh, it's, okay, it, healing. It's, it's what funny. the fuck, dog? It's funny that, again, they, the government talks about like things like there's no room for political violence in this country, and I'm like... Sure, they got to say that unless stuff. It's, unless it's the government doing it. Then it's okay. If it's their political. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, yeah, yeah. They can create a coup in uh, South America all they want. Yeah, exactly. They can they can do whatever they want, but don't no. They, Bro, they, how they do you dish, but they how do take. you fight this yeah, fucking gr grenades? purple motherfucker? Ah, oh, dude, I am not dodging. What is dodge even? 
Uh, I would assume circle, but I don't know. I have no uh, idea. I can't remember in this game. I think I just have to parry. There we go. Slice that fucking head. Oh, but he's purple again. So what? I didn't get it? How did he heal, by the way? Did he heal? Oh, really. shit. He's fucking relentless. You can parry those. Okay. But I know you're stunned, so. I, I, I'm fucked. For future reference. Oh, my God, dude. This fucking game. It's just like an old school game, man. Woo! He's it together with each death. We're going to get to it. Yeah, we're going to get there. I love the echo still on back there. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> no, I like it. Oh, shit. Don't do that. Parry. And parry. And no Luke Perry. Room and the scapegoat. There's no room in this country for political and violence. And Crimea River. Real glass. And the elite. And gotcha, sucker. Oh, shit. All right, we'll trade. There you go. Ooh, he jumped on me, dude. He's looking for a kiss. He's looking Is he going? For what fix. the fuck? Okay, if I'm faster on my wiggles, too, I think yes. a little better. I, was, really get I always there. palmed it. Take my right hand and just... This is one of these fucking... Platinum games make you sweaty. They do, man. I love it. Gotcha. Ding, 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 ding. But it really does have this nice sensation of, like, when you parry and you are good, it seems like, yeah, I'm fighting this character and I'm blocking all his shit. It feels so satisfying. Yep. That's okay, why. Okay, here we go. That's why I love this game. When it has those moments, like this fight, when you start to figure out, because that's what they're doing. They're teaching you how to parry in this fight. If you don't do it, you're going to die. Um, unless you're overpowered, you know? But if, you, if you're playing it for the first time, yeah, you got to learn how to parry. Parry that shit. Here we go. Give me the tanks. Oh. It's APC. The armored personnel carriers as they are. Damn. No. You pick that shit up. You got that health. Got a launch over here. And a grenade. I got a health. You Where's do the have health? an electric mag uh, EM grenade. Where is the health? There's no health, dude. What the fuck? You I didn't get up? health that time. You gotta be kidding me. He's visible, he's yeah. invisible, yeah. Because what he's going to do now is, he's, I would do, yeah, mid-range mid -range distance is going to do that Oh, thing. fucking Christ. There you go. Ah, EMP. Just got to keep parrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could fucking heal. Cut the face. There you go. And then, uh, oh, go get him. And then Vector is saying that when he's in purple Ooh. mode, you can use your EM grenade, which you do have now, but... Uh, but I just... Uh, the EM grenade. Okay, that'll, 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 uh, that'll take him out of that thing. Yeah. Thank you, Vec. Thank Good you. to see it in there. And he does drop him when you fucking um, go... When you take down the uh, armored vehicles. Dude, and fuck, shit. dude. Do you... Uh, do you ever drop the difficulty setting? I definitely do at a certain point. Depends uh, on the game. It, this fucking boss battle starts so fast. Yes, I am, it does. I am never fucking ready, dude. Hold on. Hold on. God damn it. I need a sip of coffee, and Jump I need... your ash voice. I need to think about... Fight. Fight, fight. What the fuck, dude? We're living in a simulation, bro. Oh, man. We're living in GTA. It's great. I love it. How do you miss? It. How close? Think, how I close he, were we to seeing the Municipal Waste album cover in fucking glorious 4K <laughs> from multiple angles man. on that Saturday? Instead, it's in, it's insane. I um, think I think he got spotted and then tried to shoot. Hilarious. And kept missing. The first one is the one that nicked the ear, right? No, I think there were a few shots before. I think the first one I heard, he puts his hand up. Then it's like rattle, 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 and counter rattle, right? Maybe. What the fuck, dude? Block, 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 block. Crazy, crazy to think that if you were turned the other way, that guy When was the down. last time this happened? I mean, Abe... Reagan? Well, Reagan was 81 before I was born. 
Uh, and then Abe was like in Japan like a couple years ago. But oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but yeah, no. Carter was like in seventies, right? Oh yeah, that was in the ten, in the tenth, right? I think Reagan was the last attempt on uh, you know an American president. Boom! Damn. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. And and a young, youngest dude, right? Uh, yeah, this guy's like twenty, something like that. The the, the shooter. Damn. But yeah, again, um, you know, we should definitely get upset when a band that's named after a penis makes a comment <laughs> as a birthday wish during their comedy live show. Um, we should definitely disparage them. Yeah, whatever I can guess. Country. I can guess what anyone's politics are in Hollywood, but whatever Kyle Gass really thinks, he's telling a little funny thing to make everyone laugh on stage. Man. Yeah. It's, uh, that's so funny it, that, that, that Jack Black put that out. Now, I did see other things posted like, this is a bit. This is how the HBO show was. Mm -hmm. Jack always throws Kyle under the bus. Uh, now, I don't remember the show that well. Me neither. Uh, but, you know. But, you know. Okay, I, it's a bit to, like, maybe them. But also, maybe the two of them are like, yo, you know, we're good. Just save your job. Don't don't not get Disney money. Say what you need to, buddy. We'll get back on the next tour. They'll be all right. Yeah, it's, I think If anything, be fine. it gave them more publicity. I just... Remember I when the like, Dix the Dixie Chicks had to change their name to the Chicks? Well, yeah, I mean that that was that was a different time. But oh I, no, that was a different thing. Yeah, that they, was because Dixie is considered racist because Dixie Dixieland or whatever. There was there was that too, yeah. Um, that that song, right? Whistling Dixie. Oh right? my land that I've forgotten. Oh look back. Uh, I oh, think every look so away. often it's better not to apologize. Look away, look away, you Dixie Yank or something like that. Isn't that like a song that's <laughs> not good or some shit? So the Dixie Chicks had to change their name. But they got in trouble when they said George Bush. They did. They said something bad about the the Gulf War or something. Yeah, or maybe before. Afghanistan, baby. It was one of those. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm not a real big, not a real big fan of the chicks. Nope. I like when they did landslide. That's cool. But it, wait, did they do it first, or did Smash Pumpkins do it first? Uh, I think they did it first, didn't they? Drum can. Cardboard Might box. Might have been Fleetwood Mac first. EM grenade. Actually. Oh, for real? Yeah. The chicks Confirm. covered it, as they are now called. Yeah, they spoke out against the war in Afghanistan. That's what it was. Either way, uh, it was a very different time, and they were a country is. band, so they kind of like, you know, uh, were speaking against their constituents. They Dude. thought they were doing the right thing, which I still think was. EM grenades, guys. Go fig. Yeah. Um... He's gonna throw fucking shit at you now, so yeah, he'll be I able to him. get help. Yeah. Oh, if it drops it this time, I swear to God. Zandatsu. Oh. Go. Oh, you dumb shit! I hit the fucking. You saw. You saw what happened. You saw what happened yeah, when I hit the grenade. I hit the grenade button oh, instead. Too fast, dude. My congas are too fast. Uh, I know. Slow it down. Let's do a little beat poetry. Through the grenade instead of the the zandatsu time. Yeah. Oh, here. I got it. Hit me. Hit me. Oh shit! I gotta fight. We're trying to beat the monsoon. We're trying to beat the monsoon. <laughs> the waves so torrential, they come down so hard. This is good. In Pennsylvania, attempt was made. <laughs> oh, I, I cost me. That cost me. And it, it cost the man who it, shot the gun. It was only life. a grazing. I dare you to take a bullet. <laughs> you couldn't do it. No one else can. I said I was looking at a graph. So I turned my head down into the left. Hey, does that sound familiar? Go figure. It's all too... We're in a simulation, guys. It's all... It's all too fucking hilarious and funny. Yeah. It's, um... It's, I love it. It's crazy. He had bombs in his car. That's the latest I heard. He had oh, a detonator. Really? He had a detonator and, like, the Columbine kids, he had, like, expl he had planted explosives in a nearby vehicle. 
Wow. Well, how are you going to... Who knows how he didn't get to carry out his sinister plan. Yeah, I mean, what did he did he think he was going to stay alive after he shot the president? I don't know. I, wouldn't you do the bombs first? That's the distraction, and then you take the shot? But, I mean, you have the perfect shot. He had it lined up, and he took it, and he missed. Yeah. Well, he well. didn't miss. It's just he, he didn't. That's get, the he part where it seems like a movie. He didn't go center mass. He grazed mask. his ear like John love, Locke getting shot bro, by Shannon. I love the motherfucking Stupid. Marines on social media the day after, and they're all giving their expert opinions and saying shit like center mass. You know, they are 15 platform standard issue. You're gonna want to be at a. You know, he was on a downward slope. That's a bad Jeez. slope. You're gonna want to be on an upward slope, looking over the peak because you have maximum protection, and you're gonna aim for center mass. You know, he's going for the Hollywood shot here. and <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I watched, like, so hours great. and hours of Jarhead it. recaps I love online it. that night, dude. Just feed me more of that. Uh, was, I love to read the comments about that. <laughs> comments about wrestling. Sorry. Yeah. Like, I watched a video. Uh, uh, Former today. U.S. Navy soldier here, I just want to say. Fucking, it's, it's just stupid. It's revisionist history. Nobody knows what well, the that's fuck their, happened. They, they're having a field day. There's content it's to be great. made with it's this. It's so great. Like, We're talking talking about it and and again like for Do me i, I just think it's i think it's hilarious how people are responding to this um and it's always gonna be fun to watch the fallout of um of these types of events because it's it's kind of unbelievable um that there was actually a, an attempt oh a fucking like you know yeah. like there hasn't yeah. been one in 40 years it's crazy it's just crazy to think that Number one, like the lack of security. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm just as interested in all these different uh, conspiracies of how, how and why. Like, okay, why was there so little security? Did they want him to get shot? Because I, mean, I heard cause... that they saw this kid for like three minutes. People are pointing out, look at him, he's on the roof. Look That's over what there. I mean. And and they were like, Yeah, we're scoped in on him for three minutes before they fucking they let him take the first shot before they counter sniper. They were there immediately. I was in like within three or four seconds the, the counter sniper's it, gun goes off. It really just So we had to already have him scoped. Yeah. And uh, that's what I've heard is like <laughs> by there's so many weird eyewitness things and you can't really believe everything you're hearing. Especially who goes to a fucking Trump rally? Not that I Lots would say the same people. about who goes to a fucking Biden rally. Who goes to a fucking rally? The same type of people. <laughs> people who are hopelessly a fanatic of something that will hope it will give know, them some dude. sense of purpose. I, just, I guess I have video games, bro. Well, you have a sense of purpose outside of feeling like a. I'm a. You I'm have a, to con a. Be inside of like some conformed box also, of what a human is. I'm such a doomer. I'm like, I know it's too late, but the the the. The storyline of Metal Gear 2 already came true. We're in such an age of disinformation. Nothing fucking else matters because it's too late. When there's so much information out there that you have we'll to... We'll never know. That you have to fact check it before believing it. Do we don't. still know shit about whatever the fuck the Epstein stuff was about? Do we still know no. anything about anything? Really? Yeah. Even the stuff you think you know, is that the truth nowadays? I don't or is know. that the uh, is that the is that is that what you're led to believe is the truth, bro? It's it's so deep. It's the it's the MGS two thing. We're fucked. Why do I keep hitting R two instead of L one L two instead of L one? I don't know, but it's okay. fun to watch you get uh, stand there and get hit in the face with stop, it. Stop! Stop it! I'm not gonna do that this time. Oh god! Every single time he just stands there and eats it to the face. It's killing okay. me. We're gonna uh, get it. We're gonna man, get it. it it would, it would have been. Also, a lot of people think uh, he, he, he. Uh, <laughs> I thought Meg tweeted the funniest shit ever. From a wrestling perspective, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he bladed, dude. He bladed. He's going he, over. That's he, it. He's he goes, friends. he goes down. Maybe it was, you know, some kind. Now there is some photo I've seen, like a little distortion uh, in the, in the, in the air next to his head, and apparently that's the, the bullet you can see actually in this slow mo photo. Yeah, I've seen that photo. Seen that photo, so I, I don't know if this disproves that or whatever. But uh, the one thing that would be interesting is, yeah, if we're shooting blanks, this guy's like Manchurian candidated up, and he's just going to take the hit. Right. You know, his parents are going to get rich or something through some cutout back in the Cayman Islands, some other bank account. You sure. Know? 
Grandpa Joe's going to get his surgery. Who knows what happens, right? Or you hey. convince some dumbass kid to do it in the same way that... Yeah, 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 yeah. You get on fucking 4chan and you start fucking pumping him up there. And who knows how it works. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not in the FBI. But they, the CIA agent be doing that shit. So uh, they, they, they get him to pop off a couple fucking blanks so no one else gets hurt. Although I, that one guy in the fucking back row took one. Have we seen... The I, chief. I, the fire chief. I haven't seen the footage of that guy getting hit. I haven't either. I haven't seen uh, that yet. I haven't seen the footage of anybody getting hit and going down. No. Oh, well, just him get, grabbing but, his ear and going down. Aside from Trump, like, hitting the deck after, you know... The, it was the, only a flesh wound. The ear clip. Yeah. I never saw that, that guy. Not to say there isn't, you know... There's gotta there. be. I mean, everyone has phones now, right? There's gotta be... Yeah. Some crazy headshot footage, or what? Uh, maybe he got hit in the chest and he well, just uh, uh, died of his injuries. Well, according to what his daughter had released, he jumped in front of. Say he's a hero. Yeah, you know he's a firefighter. He threw his family to the ground and then laid on top of them. God bless so him. that they would get. Yeah. That's that's what I've heard. Um, and that's where the real like uh, you know, not not making jokes. It's like wow, this piece of shit. Good thing the counter terrorists. <laughs> Sped that trial up pretty quickly, and uh, taxpayers aren't going to have to put Mr. Cooker in jail. What's right. his name? Right. Cook? We should probably right. forget his name, right? Because yeah, who the fuck cares? What the fuck? Um, but, but uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know. Pretty wild. That, that picture, though, I have seen is the dude's body on the roof with his head kind of opened up. Oh, really? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen the L1. long shot. I had to say it out loud to do it right. Good. I mean, it's just, you can't, it's not too graphic. It just looks like there's, like, some bit, bits of blood streaming down his uh, forehead. Yeah. Clean Let's shot. Go. I mean, Let's go. Let's government. go. Uh, the, the one thing that I said about it and that I still want to bring up about the oh, whole, I'll talk about it all night. Because I want to talk about the, the lady who ushered him into his uh, Escalade and couldn't holster her fucking gun. Because that was the funniest part of the night for me. Anyway, sorry. We'll get to that. Uh... I, like I like um, oh yeah, it was a real big eye opener of how the Secret Service really works, because about six people body shielded that guy. Who? The, Which guy? The the the, the president. Oh yeah yeah yeah, president. yeah 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 yeah. Like, and Which I've seen a lot of like I've seen a lot of disparaging uh, like oh they did a shitty job. Well, the guy was, like, fighting against him, uh, his own security <laughs> yeah. uh, to get that picture because he knew people were going to be snapping. Um, but, uh, no, I... Like, I, I've seen so many of those Marine dudes and, like, ex-SEAL team guys say, like, you never let them put their fucking head up. Look at this footage of Reagan. They had him in a car and zipping down the street in three yeah. seconds. It's always head down, and it's, like, they let him put his fucking face exposed and say fight three times and all this stuff. So I seen him get a lot of shit for that. Yeah. Like I said, this gal who just couldn't remember where her fucking service weapon holster is and she's like panicking while they load him into the Escalade and she can't and it's just like, "Oh man, this looks bad from all angles." <laughs> and then I saw the explanation of like, "Yo, this guy gets like six secret service guys." Yeah. And the rest are like local um homeland security officers, which oh, I don't even know what the fuck that, that is. Yeah. Isn't that the fucking airport TSA? Ooh, yeah. Probably. Right? Like, so, uh, no wonder shit's so lax and they're not seeing or covering the nearby rooftop. Yeah. I don't know. They they did their job, right? They did. And that's kind what was of, great. I mean, like, a guy died and someone else got shot too, right? Yeah. Well, not, not the person that they were protecting. They did their job. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, the fact that there were six people ready to, I'm sure they have body armor on but ready to take that bullet instead of him oh man. that was can you, you imagine know, can you like, imagine dying for for trump imagine for yeah. little old me imagine the, that they didn't neutralize the guy uh he gets on the news the next day you know the, they, they didn't get the, they didn't get him in the first few shots or there was a second yeah. shooter and a few more shots go out because dipshit's trying to get his photo op or he kills and, a secret service man and like he shoots a secret service dude the like guy in the, head. the guy who saved reagan right he yeah. was like a vegetable for the rest of his fucking life was he I didn't yeah, know that. yeah yeah yeah. he fucked him up bad he didn't kill him but he pretty much ruined his fucking life jesus but trump would just go on tv the next day thank god for for officer Aceves. He he really defended me in the line of duty yeah, it's... I'm gonna stop doing the impression now. It's getting a little. What the fuck? It's getting a little, uh, a little loose. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Ugh. This game, though, has so many similarities. Uh, I'm just thinking of, like, political hostages and assassinations oh, yeah. in the beginning. I mean, come on. You think they're not trying to fucking kill each other? And truth is stranger than fiction. Now here we are, this this kid with no, no supposed motive. What's the motive here? Yeah. Has this kid been on the internet too long? We're gonna see his hard drives. Oh you know, yeah. You know what the problem is sometimes? When this gnarly shit happens, we look into their hard drives and then it's like, oh fuck bro, they have Mega64 videos. <laughs> like the CIA, the FBI like has to disclose all that shit and it's like, oh you list some shit. I forget which one, but there's been some news stories. Yeah, there's some there's some funny shit like that. I love that though because up. remember we found out all the video games that Osama bin Laden liked to play, and it was like, yeah, <laughs> Saddam Hussein's laptop uh, had all these uh, didn't Osama movies. have Mega 64 videos he, on or something? I can't remember. There was there was some like shooter thing that happened. Something like uh, that. But that also there was a uh, yeah there was something like a war criminal that maybe had like I don't know Frogger or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> On, on the, like, downloaded the, the MPEG. Holy fuck. Where are you, you son of a bitch? There you go. Hey. Get at him. Look what I got you. Zendatsu. Where's that fucking head of yours? Go chase it. And just do this or regular? Probably regular. Anything. When, when they're not purple, you just... Slice and dice? Yeah. He's at 60. Oh, I've got two healths. So this is the best I've looked so far. Okay, I'm going to yep. concentrate. I'm gonna keep you on this. I'm not gonna talk more yep, about yep, yep. this Trump shit. Yep, yep, yep. No, I just wanted to touch on it. I didn't honestly want to. Well, no, I just don't want you to lose. <laughs> that too. That <laughs> I want to get past this part. That too. Okay, here's a chance to get some more health. Yep. Power ups, baby, and we got four EM grenades. And I know the difference between Zandatsu and not Datsu, and it's this. One slice, two slice. Give me yeah. Once you learn the the. the method of this fight it is absolutely yeah more easy. yeah more for jack and then soon you'll hit like ripper mode and you'll be able to like jerk yourself off or whatever <laughs> then you have like self suck mode yeah, yeah. right the, the ultimate skill it's when you max skill on everything in real life you can self suck yeah duck door i need the self suck upgrade oh shit i thought i hit him with the em what well, you have four. You can do it. Oh. I want to fucking counter this shit because I hate it. Watch out. Yep. One, two. Ah, fuck. I have five health, though. This is great. Oh, he's over there. That'd be a good time. Oh. There you go. Oof. Ah, fuck. Here we go. Spam it. I'm not EMP'd anymore. Ah, fuck. Missed. No! Drop one. Fuck him. He's got one, too. There's another one. There we go. Where's the head? Kill the body, the head will die what they say ah okay four healths he's at 48 percent here come the legs time for the head he's got more staying on him Staying on his ass. Okay. Brian, we're doing good. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. I need to heal, too. Quickly. As soon as he gets up. Heal. Yeah, it fucking hurts bad. There we go. Stay on him. My fucking hand is cramping like crazy. Have another one of those. Okay. Here we go. He's going to another form. Shit. This is another Zandatsu. Lorenz Force? 
Did you just move out of the way of this one? I don't know. Uh, he seems to be controlling it. Does it come back and forth? No, I think he just like... Chases my ass? Oh yeah, he brings it back up. We're running, we're running. We got one EM grenade left. He's at 40%. I still see him up there, so I'm kind of waiting for him to get his ass down. It might, here we go, here go. we go. Not yet, bud. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. No, 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 no. Gotta keep blocking. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Ooh. Okay. I can I can block that. Oh got him. Got him again. Ooh. Fuck Brian. Thirty-nine? He goes down so little. But this is the way? This is we're doing it right? Yeah. You think you the chat? Keep going through the phases and parry. Fucking platinum, dude. Who? Give me some nice. more. Give me some more health, baby. Ah, oh, fucking missed that. See, I lose that lock on after he throws those grenades. Which is so sneaky in a game to do that. It makes sense. Yep. Okay, get out regular. Oh, yeah, block that shit. Nice, go on it. You're very, very close. All right, last phase, get some more health out. Even though you're fine right now, you okay. can heal if you want, but I think you can just sand dad to the shit out of Let's see, because maybe I'll take one to the head on accident. Maybe. Yeah, just send That the always shit gets me, yeah. Okay, now I'll heal. There you go. He's gonna do round two. Yeah, you just gotta move the pitch of it every so often. Like, up, 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 yep. up, 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 up. I don't know where the last one is. No, I always get hit no, with the No, but you're fine. Alarm. You still got health. Okay. Grab, is grab. Is he there? Is he grab. there? There he is. Ice cream's so good. Grab, grab. Ice cream's <laughs> so good. Here, have one of those. Fuck. He landed over there. Hey. hey They're just, uh, hey. carry him for now. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ooh. Last one. Is he gonna go off? There he goes. There you go. Got ya. We're up to it. It's like doing nothing. Okay. Damn it, I went the wrong way. Parry, parry. Oh, you fucker. Ooh, I can still get out of that. Oh no, I can't. Here he goes. Here we, go. Here we go. This shit again? Yep. There's no way to damage it. him during it? So the only way to damage uh, him... You might be able to EM or to hit him with a grenade. I don't anymore. But I don't think so, yeah. Otherwise, I think it's just dodge. Oh, you can parry it. So it's, uh, Does that do something? Apparently, it's his back. I'll believe him. Yo! Okay. Healing. Just gonna run. Yeah, I agree. Damn, I don't have any other weapons. Maybe I have other grenades. Are those beneficial? Uh, probably, but I wouldn't fuck with them. EM, jam, RP. That's red phosphorus smoke yeah. grenade. Oh, fuck that. Just a just a straight Regular up. Regular ass grenade. He'll dodge that shit, right? Might. Might. I would put your repair pace and just try to uh, bully him. Yeah, repair pace is always going to be down. Yeah. Oh shit, this is new. Yeah, this might be the final. This is new. It needs to checkpoint you, <laughs> like, at the halfway point. I'm so nervous now that I haven't fucking had <laughs> a... Oh, it just did. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you see that shit? Yeah. Bro. You just had to get him down to 10%. Bro, thank God. Who? Ninja mode. I'm the ninja from the streets of Mexico City. Jack's, Jack's coming to get you. 
He's gonna do the Mexican hat dance on your chest. Fucking beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 Senor Jack does it again. This guy's talking from the dead, man. I cut your head off. It's crazy. Rest. How is he still alive? Yes, butin ass motherfucker. Okay, what a great way to start the show. Almost an hour in, the first boss is felled. We started, uh, no, I should say we finished last week's show with that. Oh. How you like me now, huh? Oh, the slaughter will continue, guys. Uh, it's all for naught. It's all for naught. Uh, just like the poor rooftop shooter's assassination attempt, it was all for naught. Uh, didn't really turn out the way he wanted. I can't wait to see the family. Like, you know they're going to talk to the family soon. We'll see, like, Twitter video oh, of yeah. them. Um, I wonder if he's got a family. Yeah, I mean... Someone put him through, like, uh, college. He went to, like, uh, I don't know. He was smart. He went to, like, some trade school or something. Was he? Yeah, because I think they said, like, he wired up all these improvised explosive devices, and there's no search history on, like, tutorials on how to do it. Huh. Like, he just, uh, maybe he was old school. Like, he bought an anarchist cookbook down at some head shop in, in, in Figured PB. Figured it out. <laughs> he drove down to Pacific Beach and hit up the black. <laughs> Is that still there? Or was that in Ocean Beach? The black was I think in it was Ocean Beach. Down yeah. by Dr. Hefe's body piercing? I'll pierce you so good. Yeah, it's still uh, there. So what? The black was this awesome head shop. Well, it's still there, apparently. But uh, do they even call them head shops anymore? No. I know, right? But I remember seeing people with shirts and shit with that logo. <laughs> yeah, it was like you get your incense there, you get your candles there, and then you get like like leather shit, like bondage gear. You Weird. could get like um, all the punks liked it because you could get. I would get the the, the studs and the studded bracelets and belts, right. or the spiked bracelets or collars and shit like that. The punkers Not love Champa, the black. I remember. And then, uh, yeah, lighters. They definitely had like incense and sunglasses and just general like also knickknacky shit for San Diego because it yeah. was down at the beach. Yeah, very. So it was kind of like, oh, look at this touristy spot. Very touristy. We got tactical size, bro. We gotta get that tactical size. Raphael dropped that motherfucker down the sewer grate. Now we got it. Should we customize Raiden's body, guys? I think so. Why not? I'm putting... Enhancements. I'm putting enhancements on the blade, for sure. Because that's what I want to spend the money with. Strength, energy, energy enhancement two. Gotta. Strength three. Gotta. Energy three, gotta. Absorption, oh baby, just get them all. What's next? Are we out of money yet? Not no. even, not even. No, you got good money. Okay, money's good. Body we got the weapon? pole arm. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec. We want to keep the pole arm or the size. I like the pole arm because it puts distance between me and those yeah. gorilla enemies, you know, those guys. Do we want to change the... Mariachi's so hot. Original body. Oh, I thought you could upgrade it. Never MGS4 mind. or Gray Fox. I haven't bought them yet, so that's going to yeah, dig you in. Just keep the body the way it is. Yeah. Oh, it's life and fuel cells. That's where it. Oh, and skills. That's where you can actually oh, spend real money. That's where I need to spend the you money. You get that fucking endurance. Yeah, Boom, get that fucking, oh, ooh, fuck, bro. Ooh, bro. ooh, I spent it too early. Ooh, I spent it too early, bro. Nah, endurance is probably good to have. Spent it too early, bro. Skill? Oh. Lightning, lightning. Oh, falling lightning. Updated version from where updates Lightning functionality. Strike. S twist freely in the air and dive down. I mean, yeah, we'll just we can get those later. We'll just grind evenly. We'll level up evenly. There you go. All right, and we can take some Discord callers. All right, I'm gonna pop that link in the chat too. Ryden strolling out in his high heels like a fucking boss. <laughs> you know we gotta talk to Vector. What's up, Vector? Hey, Vec, how you doing? Gentlemen. How the hell are you? You know why I'm here. You know. Yeah. Yes, I do. We we haven't disgraced the name of 
Hideo-san in 50 minutes, and you have to call in and say something negative. We, Wait, we no, know. No, that's, that's not why I'm here at all. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, let, let I me, know why you let me take it. Let me take it back. <laughs> Let's take it back. I saw... I just saw... People were, you know... People were a little opinionated on your opinions last week, you know. Were they? Are I they? saw, I saw the comment. I, I normally... I don't talk about comments. But I did, I, I chuckled at the comment on the YouTube upload for last week's PPS. I think it was something to the effect of, man, Victor really hates Kojima, huh? <laughs> wow, they're catching on, huh? <laughs> um, I didn't see that. I got to check that out. Maybe but it's not, it's not like, you know, you know, we're, we're remaining uh, a, a, a neutral party here. We're not finishing the, our, our videos with, in the name of Kojima the Sun. You know, right. that's a little that's a little much. We're not that guy. We're not doing that. No. You know, I, no I, that's I, really funny. Somebody, I like to hear all there sides. Are, there are people on YouTube who, who would do that though. That that's funny. It's uh, weird. Yeah, who would do that? That's who would do that? Not me. Um now well, it's funny you should say that because I actually I was curious about MGS kind coming up this weekend. It's it's so here. I went to look at the I went to look at the guest list and it's completely different compared to the first year. Because the first year they they just brought a bunch of fans as guests of honor, but mm -hmm. I guess there wasn't enough space, so they're completely done with that, and that has increased the chances of Konami officially supporting MGS Con dramatically. Ooh, okay. okay. So we're we are holding out hope. What if M what if MGS Con two this Saturday is such yeah. a huge success right. that it comes back MGS three next year? And Konami, MGS Con 3. MGS Con right. 3, Konami has an official presence. That's really a dream, right? <laughs> right. And we want to grow like this community. Venue, that would be their official venue for like showing new footage or n new uh, announcements for new games and shit. Sorry, sir. I think, you know. But then, but then the problem though is then it's it's no longer a fan con. It's true. You it's, have. You have it's for like years. A corporate entity. It's a commercial thing, you know? Yeah. For years, I got the PlayStation unofficial magazine, PSM, right? Years I collected yeah. that magazine. And then all of a sudden, what? Oh, they're bought and purchased, and it's now the PlayStation official magazine? Oh, man. Talk right. about biased reviews. You're now, you, there, there you are, you are talking about a change in right. the whole vibe. Being unofficial, there really are no rules, you know? I remember that PSM was actually my favorite because they used to oh, they, were they used to hire a comic book artist to do the cover. Oh, really? Every, every issue. Yeah, yeah. I love that guy's that's art. That's how I got introduced to a lot of different comic book artists was through PSM covers. Uh, but then, but then the first time they stopped doing that, I was like, oh no, this is the beginning of the end. Because there was here in the U.S. there was an official U.S. PlayStation magazine. That was the only one that came with a demo disc. Oh, that's some true. Of those are some of my prized possessions. But then they went out of business. And so PSM became like they were the only PlayStation magazine in town. Right. And they, yeah, so that's. And then eventually, eventually, though, didn't they also become like, okay, well, now we're the only game in town. Like, let's go official. Right. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there was, I mean, there's, you know, there's politics there. But uh, yeah, Bim, Bim Batty. I think I hope I'm saying that right in chat. Joe Maduera, the guy who yes. eventually went on to to work on Darksiders, he uh, he did a lot of the PSM covers back in the day. Dude, he did I'm so stoked! Cover I, for for the first Devil May Cry, that shit was tight. Yeah, and the Final Fantasy VII cover, and like the Resident Evil Two ones with the liquor and Leon. Like I have luckily saved, like such a fucking hoarder, all of my magazine subscriptions over the years. So I have oh, all yeah. of my PSM. Where is this fucking wolf? Come here, fool. Yeah, you just brought back some good, me good memories. Good memories. But yeah, that is true. Like, you know, if if uh, Konami was officially kind of representing, do they have to kind of turn the other cheek at the, uh, the IP being sold in the dealer's hall on stickers and mugs Dude. and shirts and things? You know what I mean? It's... It's, That's it's, a huge deal. Parody is a, is a sketchy territory sometimes with... No, actually. And I, because I looked it up, I was, I was curious. Fan art is strictly against the law, and but just companies choose to... Look the other way. Like, 
Right, because it would cost them more money to fight it in court than, you know, to pursue all those people, but, but yeah. Yeah. And, like, how much money are they making on Etsy with, like, this Disney princess, you know, weed-smoking tray? Exactly. Um, yeah. Trisha well, just bought Nintendo, one. Nintendo, Nintendo uh, would just guess which the, princess? The lawyers on it. Like, no questions asked. They say what? Nintendo would just say, fuck it. And they would just, they would sue, oh, like, even yeah. if you made yep. five bucks off the Mario thing that you drew. Like, oh, yeah. Nintendo. That's a different story. <laughs> Nintendo's, right. Nintendo's going know. after you. You can't even stream their cutscenes. Uh, speaking of conspiracies, you know, there is a conspiracy that Konami is just a, a money laundering scheme for the Yakuza. I've so heard this. <laughs> huh, that'd be Wait, cool. didn't I talk about this a couple weeks ago? Uh, I've heard, well, you know, all gambling is to, you know, the local mafia, right? And in Japan, yeah. the local right, mafia right, right. is the Yakuza. And Konami right, right. makes not only video games, but pachinko machines and slot machines and all kinds of things. They do. According and, to their shareholder reports, their, sure. their primary source of income comes from mobile games, but the secondary source of income comes from, comes from health spas and sports gyms. Now, oh. Huh. The health industry is a big industry, man. I tell you what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, Titan, fucking workout equipment and shit. I don't know. Yeah. Time to make your way but, um, clear. anyway. Oh. Yeah, I love, consp I love a good cons conspiracy. I'm a conspiracy guy. I, I do, too. And, and that's why I'm having such a great time with the news that happened on Saturday. Um, <laughs> like I said, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not happy or sad either way. I'm just enjoying... The comedic value of the situation all yeah. all weekend, yeah. and really, it was it was like Saturday morning. I think I woke up and I kind of saw something real briefly on my phone. Yeah, when I was making coffee or whatever, and then and then I just kind of went like, oh, oh yeah, right before we started that podcast yesterday on on Friday, we did a podcast for for Mega sixty four. Kind of unusual, trying some new shit out. But uh, I was like, yeah, Maybe right before what, the that's the huge timeline. Right, right before yeah, exactly, right before the podcast, Rocco told us something. That's what he told us. He told us the shooting. Like, and my timeline was skewed. I thought, like, yeah, that happened Friday when I was at work. It was no big deal. Rocco told us, and then we had to start the podcast. But now I was remembering incorrectly. Okay. Because then Sunday rolled around. Because I I didn't really fuck with my phone. I spent most of the day with Trish on Saturday, right? Yeah. Went and saw long legs. Had a good old time. I am so fucking happy. And then uh, it was like Sunday rolled around, and I'm seeing all these angles and all these conspiracy videos. And then I'm like, oh, this is a big deal. Oh, this happened Saturday. I didn't know about this. Yeah. Rocco told us, like, oh, hey, I think Richard Simmons passed away. You know, yeah. RIP. I have asthma. And, and totally it was like right before the podcast, like, oh, hey, we're about to go live. By the way, Richard Simmons died. And I conflated that with, like, Donald Trump got shot. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, all Saturday, I was like, oh, yeah, I knew that yesterday. It's no big Like, that wasn't, that's not. That's crazy because we were just talking about <laughs> Richard Simmons last couple of weeks on the PBS. Yeah, what sure. a what a soldier. We're I like, man, it. what's uh, what's going on with them? You know, we haven't been seeing him for a while. Well, and, and it was like it was interesting. He wasn't doing well, according to Howard, I guess. Well, no, no, he had done. Uh, he 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 had gone rogue, and we talked about how people fucking made that podcast trying to like find out if his housekeeper was taking advantage of him and all that shit yeah and it was kind of like that's fucked up like he just wanted to not be in public uh so that then kind of led to lately he's started reaching out on his twitter again well i think we know why i think he must have had like some diagnosis or something and he had decided like okay before i go out i'm gonna start reaching out because every time he would tweet it was like hey this fun story about this one time Oh. And hey, this reminiscent thing about whatever when I was on the Howard Stern show and Gary did this and other things from his career. It was like over the last two months, he had been tweeting out these kind of like little retrospective stories about his career. I remember this one time, blah, 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 blah. I had asthma. And he had asthma. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's uh, he probably knew what something was up. So he's like, oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start leaving a little little messages. I'm gonna start interacting with because that was the first time him tweeting again was the first time he had come out of his like reclusive state in years right, i mean when right. was all that podcast nonsense like five six years ago oh, i don't i don't know i didn't hear about the podcast until you had told me about it oh i mean it was shit like that that is probably like the inspiration for like only murders in the building and stuff 
I should have used this. Oh, yeah. maybe I, I'm supposed to in a second. Yeah, this this section is a uh, is a bastard. So. The oh. They Good gotta to be. hack the elevator. Good to be back and, uh, in Denver. This is like the, uh, first Metal Gear Solid where we have to climb the towers to Sniper Wolf. Oh yeah. Make your way to the top of the tower for the Hind D fight. Shit. There you go. Now you can use the turret. I, I recommend you don't use the turrets because they're going to come up behind you and uh, they're, they're going to come up those stairs. And unless you can keep them off that staircase, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, that's not good. No, I, I, seeing you guys play this made me want to play it. So I played it. And uh, how you been doing? I mean, I've been doing great, you know. But I got everything unlocked, so. Oh, okay. You're starting. You're starting like a, a new game plus. Yeah. Now there's one next to you. So I you should. Wanna... Jettison. How do I get off of it? Circle. Oh fuck! It's horrible. Circle here. You were right, Vec. That was good advice. I got right. my A team Didn't here. Matter. My A team. I can't miss. I can't miss. Oh shit! The, Poor uh, choice. Yeah, nobody can miss when chair. you're standing there. Poor choice of words. <laughs> Stop. You're getting shot at. I just want to hit the sound, the gunshot sound effect as much as I can today. You shouldn't well, play with uh, guns, sir. No, I, I should play with guns. Um, but, uh, oh, this maybe, fucking. Maybe if you wear, if you wear glasses, maybe don't wear. Yeah. Well, no, I, there's one thing I wanted to point out <laughs> yes. that I thought was uh, hilarious. When I saw it, I started laughing out loud. Funnier the, than the, the gal who couldn't holster her service uh, weapon? Way funnier than that. That was pretty funny. Like, She put the, it in the front, the and then she was in the back, and then the front again. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, uh, the would-be would -be assassin, in quotes... Sure. The, uh, the news referred to him by his by all three of his names. <laughs> yeah. Just like, just like John Wilkes Booth. Oh and yeah. Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it that way, dude. Did him dirty. I, I was like, well, like, what are the odds that this dude also goes by all three of his names? No, that's just the way they treat you if you are uh, yeah, they, a political assassin. They, they, they would, they would, because we all have three names, right? Because I've seen people Not tweet. Everybody. I see. Well, most people. I've because I've seen a lot of people tweet like that too. Like, what are the odds this guy had fucking three names? And it's like, I have three fucking names. Yeah, I mean, right? You have three names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rocco is the only this... one I know. I don't think Rocco actually has a middle name. I think he's like the only person I know that doesn't have three. Yeah. Um. You have to shoot him with your. But yeah, if 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 I got caught slipping or on some Manchurian shit, I bet they'd hit me with the. Garrett Allen Hunter was known as a shy, yeah, quiet guy. Like Took to himself. <laughs> yeah. Specify, right? It, it's just, it brands you a, a, a psycho. Like, I'm sure <laughs> the name killer. Lee Oswald. Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald, yeah. You know, was a common name back then. But if it's Lee Harvey Oswald, it's a, probably a handful of people. You know, they don't do it with serial killers, right? Because you, uh, you, you got... You got John Wayne Gacy. You do got John Wayne Gacy, but you got Eileen Warnos. You got David Koresh. Well, he was yeah. kind of a cult leader. Da uh, you got... Um, Ted Kaczynski. Ted Kaczynski. Unabomber? Yeah. Matt, is he a serial killer? Or political well, uh, political assassin? <laughs> use your... Uh, now you uh, can use Mer the church to shoot those the, guys. Who's the, the Manson dude? Oh, Charles, Charles Manson. Manson? Yeah, they just call Charles him Charlie Manson. Manson. Yeah. We don't know Charles homie's Manson. middle name. Maybe he didn't have uh, one. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Good old Jeff making dude soup back in 91. Richard Milhouse. Jared Ogle. <laughs> there you Just go. as bad. Just as bad, I'm going to say. Yeah. Where's the uh, fucking target? Right there. Harlan oh, okay. Sanders, right? Who? Colonel Harlan Sanders. Colonel Harlan? Yeah. He never killed... Well, he did kind of exterminate a whole, whole <laughs> mess of chickens. Oh, yeah. He's responsible for genocide. Um, the no, whole chicken yeah. genocide. They are finger licking good. They're anyway, the chicken um, Popeyes. Dude, I want Popeyes. So, Popeyes is so much better than KFC, by the way. Oh, I mean, the pinnacle is Jollibee. I got what? that earlier this week. Jollibee, fuck chicken. I mean, I fuck with Jollibee, but not the. I don't go for the chicken. I go oh, for the. I go for the Filipino spa, spaghetti. Yeah. I go for the. Uh, you gotta get that sweet and spicy spaghetti. You gotta get that what else? Piece bucket. I've got the, the, you, the, gravy, the gravy, the gravy, the breading. So fa. Breading. This motherfucker talking to me about breading. Yeah, man, that's fried chicken. 
I know. That's why I like the Popeyes uh, I know. over KFC. Pa Popeyes KFC is, is also great. too expensive. KFC, I just feel like it's just all oh, grease. Shit. Can't block that. It's all grease, man. I got a bucket right now. Uh, whenever I go oh, to can't Jollibee, block that. like whatever I'm going to get. Like I'm there to probably just get a burger or a chicken joy. But like I always just get a bucket because I'm like, ask food for the next few days. <laughs> That's when I go to Canes. I go tailgater every time. Yeah. It's food for the next few days. Yeah. It's like it's like you, you throw. Order you throw it in the, the air fryer, dude. Oh, man. Especially Fried in the chicken air in the air fryer is, like, exactly the same as it was the uh, day before. Uh, uh, like, absolutely Perfect. rejuvenated. A, a, a miracle. A miracle. You don't even really... need to add any extra oil because it's already got so much fucking grease in it. Fucking arms. It's great. I love it. I love it. You guys um, are opening my mind to so many possibilities. I, don't, I mean, do you have Jollibee out where you are? Oh, they definitely. Some places don't I have know. Jollibee. I, yeah, I would know. And, and no. No. We yeah, we don't uh, We don't have any close by. Where do you go, Brian? Do you have one near you? National City. Oh, okay. That's not an excellent. That's not an actually near, though. Uh, For you, no. We do for have me, a it's like canes, but, 10 but it's minutes away. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you're on some new Well, shit. you know, they, they have them all over because they're basically anywhere that a, uh, you know, Filipinos are. If there's a seafood seafood city, <laughs> there's a Jollibee. Yeah. Um, you know, they have, they have them Ufa. all up and down California. Um, I'm sure in the Bay. I know, I know they had one in the Bay Area in San Francisco. I think they probably have them in SAC. Um. If you ever been out to South, South Point Plaza oh, drop kick. in Sacramento, they got one up there. Fuck this guy. Um, but man, it is so fucking good. I love Jollibee. I love Jollibee. Slice Here's that. Everybody shit. who's now wondering, oh, what's Jollibee? What is, or should I go? Here you gotta you go. try. You gotta try it once. It's not for everybody because it's, it's, it's uh, it's not for everybody. <laughs> they're in Arizona. They're in California. They're in Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Maryland, Michigan, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Texas, Virginia, and Washington. The closest thing I could say is like if you've ever fucked with L and L barbecue, which is Hawaiian oh, food. Yeah, dude. It's similar, but it's different. Well, yeah, I would agree. Similar, but it's different. I'm, I'm, but that's I'm the closest thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find these guys and I'm gonna check this Jolly Bee place out. I mean, it's just, oh, it, it, it's again, it's like a fast food re restaurant. You can get burgers. It's not worth driving more than an hour or two. I, I mean, it's not even worth driving more than 20 minutes. Too. <laughs> like, like if you, oh God, you know, going amazing. from where we are now to go just to Jollibee would be silly. But you go down to Seafood City on a Tuesday or a Thursday when the fish are on sale. And you get, uh, you know, you get some fish to do a fish fry at home. You pick up a bucket of Jollibee. You can eat it. You get a fucking chicken Oh, is that what you joint. do? Well, I mean, again, I don't live as far where, where I'm at. For me, it's a 10-minute drive down the freeway. I'm just laughing at you. Pick, you pick up a bucket of Jollibee. You got to get the you bucket. Eat it. You got to get the bucket. <laughs> you got to eat it. And you got to eat it. You can't sit it down and just stare at it. Dude, I get I get home. I get my, my fucking pineapple quencher. Are you quenching right now, dog? Dude, not now because I ain't got no pineapple quencher from Jollibee. But if I were like I was two days ago. See, I don't fuck with any drinks, right? I'd be quenching, man. Look at this guy. Treat. Come into my spider's web, my son. Um, but the, the cool thing is Jollibee really just deals when they're doing their bucket and like drumstick and like thigh so you get uh, or not thigh but like yeah it's a, it's a nice cut like you but it's it's just the two you don't have to fuck around and be like oh can I get more of this like they in a 10 piece bucket you're getting five and five which is pretty nice in my opinion you get five by five you're getting five drumsticks instead of just two you know and you got a little fucking Babies crying. Do you need to drum Uh, is that what they do? They cry. <laughs> Little babies. Oh, I don't like to eat other parts of the chicken. Oh. Why? Oh, you oh, don't like weird. the bone? Oh, you want a tender? The bone makes it more tender. You want a chicken tendy? Stupid. I don't like to skin on it. Fucking. Then you're you throwing only, away the best oh, part. You only eat tendies like a wool box quail. Stupid. Sitting around telling me they got celiac disease and they're eating bullshit processed food. That sounds oh, like man, what the shooter looked. That. that sound, that sound we were talking in, this one right here. It sounds like what the shooter probably. I imagine him sounding that way. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong. Oh, I missed. Oopsie. Don't, don't get me wrong. This motherfucking person right here, sitting in front of you, behind Ooh. Garrett on this fucking Ooh. PPS set, will destroy what? a bucket of chicken tendies by myself. 
All right. Oh, you're you're a fan of tendies? I'm a I'm a fan of it all. You put it in front of me, I gotta try it. If it's got chicken, I gotta try that shit. You like uh? You like chicken over beef? Um, depends, dude. It I depends. was when I first started really really, really trying to eat a lot of protein. Yeah. I just was only kind of concentrating on beef because I like beef. Yeah. But then I realized, like, yo, you have to go a little lighter, man. No fucking steady red meat diet Not is going to do, yeah. you know, <laughs> favors. It's uh, just like anything. It's good to diversify, right? Like, it's probably good to get uh, protein from beef. It's good to get Tons protein fish. from legumes. It's good to get protein what the from... Fuck? Uh, what did you just say? Legumes. legumes. Beans. Bro. This is America. <laughs> like lentils and other stuff like that? Lentil? Yeah, it's another leg. Fucking you. Fava beans. You're talking about fucking beans. fiddler on the roof here. Fucking yentl. No, no, that's a yentl. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm fucking. It's a yentl with its horn. Oi, they, Brian. Wait, I got him. Yeah! Big daddy. But no, I mean, again, it's like, uh. It's a veritable cornucopia. It's a thing. Literally. You're making me hungry. I'm. I know, dude. I haven't eaten anything today. I'm waiting for that. For that protein. Okay. Intake oof, with the oof, carne asada oof, burrito after. Oof. Been dreaming about it. I almost made steak for dinner. Oh, and I fuck. What'd I do that for? I Shit. realized I'd be making too much steak in one day. I didn't mean to heal, guys. I wanted to throw out the fucking grenade here and just see if I can EMP these fucking dorks. Cut their arms to pieces. Blocked ya. Got ya. Give me that arm. Yeah, yeah KLB. Time travel. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going on? Time travel? Uh, someone in the chat, Super Saiyan Piccolo, asked, "How can I get MGS Con tickets?" I said, "Time travel." Oh. <laughs> well, there are virtual tickets still available. Yes. So I believe you can like Love stream uh, from home the yeah. panel events and other programming throughout the day. Did I use one on? It automatically uses one, I think. Probably uh, if you have it equipped. Um, or if you have some, then yeah, I think it uses them. Give me the fucking grenade kill. Just fucking end it. Ass hat. Where are you? You missed. Oh, I'm so sick of being gorilla grabbed. Gorilla monsoon here. That was a good naming for the uh, for the PPS tonight, oh. Brian. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you you uh, you have Ripper mode. So if you click in both analog sticks, that oh, that's right. will give you. Is that new? We have that now. Yeah, you got it in the last Holy one. shit, guys. I forgot about this. There oh you go. Sword. Oh, Man. let her rip. Get us out yeah. of this yeah. fucking hallway. Beat their ass. Beat their ass. Drop kick me, fool. Yo, Don't that... Forget, that, uses, that uses electrolytes. It so does. Okay. I did have some paste. We're going to heal up again. No more grenades. He's about to drop kick me again. Let's hit another electrolyte pack. And let's get out the uh We got we got five by five of these fuckers. Hit him. Oh, not there. Where'd he go? Just tap it. <laughs> tap it and then it'll when you're locked on, you'll Just uh, Ah There we don't, go. Don't lock on it. If you hold the button. There we go. Boom. I forgot we picked up like a whole trophy case worth of uh, rockets up here. Okay, now it's probably back to this action. Yep. No, I think you're good. You're, you cleared the spot. Last guy, last yeah, guy. Yeah, one more guy. Hopefully the, uh, that fell on him. on the map is, is uh, pointing you to, to, to move on. Oh, wait, no. This is an extra battle. You get oh, really? Do I get, like, yeah. uh, maybe some uh, extra points? Probably. Yeah. For upgrading and and whatnot. Ooh. Okay, I'm excited. There are there are three people in the waiting room, so so I am gonna do what I came to do. Oh, Vector, you say it ain't so. What you is know that? why I'm here. Are we enacting the anti heal spin? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's that time. <laughs> and now we'll take three. People to ask for a fucking spin. Is that how it works? We're already in the deficit. Yes. The anti wheel spin edict has been enacted three now <laughs> in a row. It's lovely. Thank you so in much for calling, Vector. 
All right, take care, guys. All right. Nice call, man. Good to talk to you. Gotta love to hear from that boy, Vec. That man, Vec. Or is he AI? Is he AI? We still don't know. Maybe the dead vector is Actually, where... I, you don't know. He could have paid me off because I have met Vec in person. Oh. Or was it? I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. Live broadcast. I don't believe you. So that's or did I? Otacon. What the fuck? Mm. I'm telling you, man. People got body doubles like Saddam. If Saddam can have him, Vector can have him. Oh, man. What if the body was a double uh -huh. of... Nah, that won't work. I'm just still thinking about how that shooter could have got up there. Blah. Did he... I, I saw footage today, too, of him walking around on the grass below the building before he climbed up there. Really? And apparently he bought a ladder, like, that day. That makes sense. To get up there. And he bought ammunition that day. Or that whatever that week. <laughs> like his bank statements now they've they've released oh, a, like of a ladder, ammo. But like there's still no motive. Yeah. I know. The the only thing that keeps being said is that they were Republican and conservative. So they can't you know people who are trying to be like, you know bringing up other factors ain't it ain't true. Well, the obvious, yeah, the obvious motives don't work because he's just a, you know, what's the obvious? Yeah. He's the other guy's supporter. He's on Team Blue Team. Yeah. Uh, yo, it's just got to be wild, dude. What's the uh, debate going to look like? What's security going to be for, like, everything now going forward, too? I don't know. It's kind of fucking bad to begin with, so. I mean, yeah, security's him, bad, but that Trump, makes, I mean, Trump. that's. Those are the 9-11 conspiracy thoughts, though. It's like, oh, conspiracy uh, uh, ideas uh, letting things happen so that they can tighten down yeah. on freedoms. Yeah. Right? Where's that Bill Clinton kid? You know, Which kid? From the Game Awards. Bill Clinton. That kid's got a whole, like, channel. And, I like, know. he's still trying to do shit. He fucks with Hassan Piker, which is kind of funny. Next, we're gonna be hearing that Huck Twug we girl love, is fucking. We love landlords. Involved. Is that does that does homie talk that way or is that a voice? I don't know. Am I allowed to make fun of it? If it's a voice, it is. But if he really talks that way, maybe I should. Get away. Okay, guys, we've infiltrated. So much for going in sneaky. That's okay. Who needs to sneak when you've got pole arms that you can break dance on the floor with? Isn't that great? I Hell remember yeah. I used like all of these weapons to figure out which one oh, was shit, the best. I'm... Oh, I don't have a health equipped. Ah, you do have to have the right thing equipped. Okay. Okay. Do you want to take uh, another call, Brian? Sure. Let's see what's going on and Let's... who's got it going. Let's talk to Johnny. Johnny! Two ends? Hello, am I coming through? Hey, yeah, what's up, what's Johnny? Up? How you doing, brother? Hey. I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. We're just thinking, um, thinking about electrolytes, personally. Gatorade. I'm big on Gatorade right now. I'm, uh, just finished the bottle myself. Oh, hell yeah. What color, dude? You do that blue? Um, yeah, I went for blue. Light blue? What's, what Doesn't are we supposed what to avoid? To me. Red 40? Don't do red Gatorade is a bad one. That one's good, though. It tastes good. Tastes good, but If you're it's, allergic to red dye, then yeah. It's got the red 40 in it, though. See, that's like we were talking last week with the seed oils. Yeah? I think red Isn't that the, um, 40's bad, too. Who's saying uh, the red, red wine cover? Isn't that UB red 40? 40. Oh, UB40 is oh. terrible, dude. Yeah. Red, red wine, you make me feel so fine. Red, red wine. You know what the worst one is? The There's what? a rat in the kitchen, what I'm gonna do. There's a rat in the kitchen, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill that rat, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's yeah. so bad, dude. I'm unfamiliar. I'm gonna kill that rat, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill that rat. 
there a rat in the kitchen? What am I gonna do? There a rat in the kitchen? What am I gonna do? It's terrible. Who the fuck gave UB40 a rat? Are they like deal? Canadian? Oh, uh, they were they were no. British. Don't pin that on us. The Canadians yeah. are not responsible for <laughs> Look at all these great blue flavors. I'm blue maxing right now. There's there's uh there's cool blue. You've got uh Let's see cool blue. You, you've downed the Gatorade. Your electrolytes are full. I'm going to go into battle here. You got uh Glacier Frost. You see got it. uh I don't even I read the label. I just I just blue cherry. And down it. Cherry's a good one. I will take some sips off Trisha's Gatorades if she's got them out on the coffee table. I'll steal a steal a little drink. I go I go I go ham on that shit, man. I go to Costco. I don't fuck with Gatorade because there's like a lot of sugar in it, right? You know, I don't um I don't get Gator I always say this. I, I don't get Gatorade for anything else but to replenish what? After workout. Oh or like next morning after like drinking or something like that, but even still yeah. I, I, I stay away from it. So like Ow. when I'm That's working exactly out what, yeah. or whatever, like after I've done my cardio, after I've done my my full lifting session, then I'll drink the the regular Gatorade. Oh, but fuck. I do not grab it like a soft drink out of the out of the fridge, because yeah, the sugar content is not meant for that. You know what I mean? Because you need to replenish the sugars you lose when you do. I mean, you do know? you? Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, just drink fucking water. I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, that's what Gatorade's supposed to do. It's Every, to each their own. And sugar and, uh, you know, some of the stuff that you lose when you sweat out, like, you know, after that's my good. I don't want half hour workout. I don't want sugar in, the, I don't want any sugar in my bloodstream. <laughs> I mean, I need some or I'll be, what is that, diabetes? Well, yeah, I mean, sugar is what, you know, creates energy in your body. Glucose, that's yeah. right. So you, you sweat in the, sweat in the blue? Yep, but I mean, that's why I'm like, it's my one... Well, and I do the 12 ounces. So I don't get the 24 ounce big fucking thing. I do one of those after I get on the bike or do a, a three-hour fucking lifting session. And I'm like, yeah, I think I can. I, I think I can deal with the. I think it's maybe 30 grams of sugar that they put You've in. You've earned it. Exactly. Like. Well, if you're doing cardio, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Or like. For again, me, I, yeah, I just I don't know. I don't fuck with Gatorade. Yeah. I like never have. I like never. I've never even as a kid. Like you know, if it was free, but like I've never like liked Gatorade enough to be like yeah I'm buying a case of Gatorade I don't know yeah I just want a case of soda instead <laughs> yeah I, and and honestly I'll take that. It, it really just comes back to now that I lift and work out harder I needed something that wasn't just water to keep to like you know replenish the salts from the from the workout the salts but I, yeah I also am eating so much salt in my food. Yeah. That like I don't want any extra too. Yeah, there's that. Part. I'm over already on my chicken because I buy a lot of like uh, chicken that's already cooked and processed, which probably isn't the best, but it's just yeah, fucking but, convenient. I mean, right. But man, it's salty. So I, I, it, this is actually leftover. I, I, I have it. It is like uh, remedial for me. Okay, I, I don't. It's not something I can drink casually. Like I, I had it after I uh, ran this morning. But sometimes I, I, I like left it out. Yeah. Sometimes just warm Gatorade. Oof. Like nothing, nothing worse or better at the same time. That's usually when I hit it is from Trisha's like left out mm -hmm. like half of just a bottle. Lukewarm. Yeah. Oh, sometimes it's like just like. Oh man. It's, it, it's good. Ooh. Oh shit, guys, I look mean, at it this. Is, it is pretty it, good. It is, especially dude. I'm telling but you, it feels, it feels naughty. When it's ice cold out, of out, out the fridge after I'm done, Ooh, okay. like, after I'm done, like, uh, you have to do ninja mode, blade mode for that. Fuck, bro. Um, no, no, L1. <laughs> <laughs> this might work. Blast off. Oh, God. That's my oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Holy shit, guys. I'm getting horny now just thinking about it. But, yeah, um, nice, nice ice cold Gatorade after, uh. After a workout, feels so good to just down it, and then, like I said, it's uh, after that, then it's just water. Especially now, like when I, I usually go out at like five thirty in the morning for like a run. Oh, okay, and morning run. Yeah, it's pretty cool usually, but like now it's just like it's like already like eighty five at like <laughs> yeah five thirty. So it's like what are you in doing? Southern California? Because yeah, it sucks. <laughs> no, I'm in. Uh, New England. New England, okay. Oh, God, so it's humid there, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. usually, you know, like, 
take the dog out with Trish uh, Wednesdays, like uh, if I'm off, and then um, you know weekends. But we could go out at like ten. We casually get up, maybe eat some breakfast. We'll take him out, no problem. Now, if we don't get out the house by, I want to say like seven thirty, it's like too hot for a fucking dog walk already. Like yeah, he can't, he can't handle. Yeah, the dog can't handle it. You know, that's uh, the problem. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. It's uh, it's been night walks for the last couple of weeks lately. I've just been going out, throw that weighted vest on, and go take camp out on a little uh, a night jaunt. I love it when it gets it's hard hotter. when they're little too. It, yeah. When it gets hotter though, and 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 I'm working out like it. We were talking about the uh, working out with Sean before uh, before we went live today. Oh yeah, you recorded a record club with Sean. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, we did. Um, Ooh, look, look forward for to that. that. Patreon, you Patreon heads. Um, but uh, oh, well. we were talking about, or, or you came in talking about like getting that uh, post break burn, like that real soreness. Oh yeah, when you take off time and then you come back to yeah. it and you're like. Oh, this is what being sore is like for the first time again. Yeah, or or at least you just feel that tenderness over more than just like the next morning. I'm addicted to that because yeah. now it was like, oh, I took so much time off for Anime Expo. Yep. My next workout made me so sore when I got back. So that it just made me go like, okay, yeah, push everything harder. And I did like a different body part each day. Yeah, that's and, good. And really like, that's what I said when I started the show. It's like, I feel like a fucking lump of raw dough <laughs> uh, everything fucking hurts right now but I'm addicted to that feeling right now because I haven't had that in a long time yeah and uh, and, and that's definitely like part of the draw to keep uh, coming back to it let's see where we're supposed to go you're supposed to cut through some shit in one of these rooms and then you can get um, into an extra room yeah or a key code or some shit like, probably this one Yeah, the, the green light above the door Oh, oh, we already went through here. But uh, I'm 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 such a I'm such a big fan of the series. Um, well, the main series, I guess. Like you said before, like uh, I guess Metal Gear Solid, what I'm uh only familiar yeah. with. But I don't think I've ever actually watched the gameplay, like of Rising of this game before. Yeah, this is the first time I've like seen someone actually like, play it. Oh wow! I've seen like you know like people have like stuff you know I've seen like and stuff but never actually like, yeah it plays you know like it plays like a platinum game which is interesting you know just in its own right yeah um but it kind of has that aesthetic of like you know the the i don't even know what you call it the it's Yoshi a tactical Shikawa. military you know yeah it's got that uh that espionage backdrop that all of the Metal Gear stuff has, except it's just kind of ramped up because it's so so far in the future. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I got nothing. But just in the future, but good things to say. Yeah, yeah. Future for the Kojima verse. Although, does any of the other stuff actually like fit in, like Police Knots, uh, Snatcher? I don't think so, right? I don't think like, so either. Meryl in that game, unless that's like Meryl Jr. I bet you there's like a redditor that's tried to make it all fucking yeah. fit into one connection. I, I don't think I don't think they cross over. No, I feel like if you told Kojima about that, he'd be probably like, "Yeah." Oh, like, there you oh, go. Okay. It'll work. No, you look the clues. You're just gonna... It's not that. No, one. but uh, honestly, I love I love sure. um, I love the uh, I love the extended universe now with with you know rising instead of it just being the one style of game. Um, you know, just sneaking or whatever, you get this, like... Yeah, you have such diversity in the franchise amongst, you know, yeah. Solid, Acid, Rising. There it is. One more fucker. Uh, I think the one... Ooh. One more is in, I think, that oh, conference shit. room. Or you have to, like, bust down the wall to get it. Um, but, yeah, again, I think the biggest thing for me is... Uh, when when it goes back to you know exercising and, and doing the work, um, is that yeah? I don't care if it's hot. I don't oh. care if it's cold. I don't care if oh. it's whatever. Like I've committed to this thing, and unless I have like just something that's gonna occupy my time in the way, I'm gonna find a way to get it done. Um, because I found a way to do shit in the past that didn't benefit me. Yeah. So now I just redivert that effort, and it's like oh, it's really easy for you when you want to go drink to go buy a bottle of alcohol, Brian. So why isn't it easy for you when you want to get 
better health <laughs> and become stronger, why can't you just make it that easy to fucking work out and do your workout that you intended to do? It's hard. I'm going to be uncomfortable. Hey, and this is why I brought up like that, that state you were saying of being in pain. Like, I hated being sore. That was one of the main reasons I, I used to not want to work out. But that's because I'd go in and try to do a fucking body lifting workout for the first time ever. And of course I'm going to be gassed like you are right now. I have no recovery in place for it. I have no system to, to like support my my soreness. So I just went in and, and hurt myself, basically. And I'm not going to get the results that I want right away. So now I feel pain. When was and this? Like when you first originally, started? Originally, yeah. Like trying to work out. Oh, every wow. single time I've ever tried to work out. From the beginning of, of, of doing it. You just go into the gym and you start following some workout plan. You know? Like, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go with the bench press. I'm going to do curls. Oh, and you would always this. just get burnt out because it would be like, fuck, I'm so sore. Like, I don't want to do this Yeah, again. you just go do it one or two times. After the first time, you're so sore, you can't extend your arms. Your chest hurts yeah, because you I did love bench that, press dude. that day. Yeah, now that I've done it enough to to, to know that that yeah. feeling is how I should feel. Yeah, I could see you never doing it too and for the first time it's like yo is this fucking normal yeah like it really hurts like it really when you wake up the next day and you can't the closest i could say is for anybody who got oh i was miserable as fuck in bed all morning tossing and turning couldn't get comfortable yeah so i finally just got up but it's because like yeah i'm fucking sore all over yeah and that that's almost like a nice little prompt to like yeah just get up then like you're awake exactly just get out of bed start your fucking day and what I've found is that the best remedy, and I've said this many times, but the best remedy to feeling sore after a workout is to just do more. Do more of that workout after a day and a half, and it will it will activate what it's supposed to. Oh. And rather than your body feeling like it can't move, it'll start to build that support from the broken down muscle, like we always talk about each week when we get on this subject. And it's and it's the best feeling. And then a few months later, a year later, you will see the difference. You will if you stick to I it. Cannot fucking find this um, goddamn panel. I think it's behind a wall in one of the rooms. Um, and so yeah, I think that that's uh you know that's one of the big things that used to stop me when I was younger was like little mental hurdles like oh I'm gonna get sore or oh it's too hot today. Now when it's hot, it's like, oh, I'm definitely going to sweat today. <laughs> yeah, I, I will and definitely, I like, like, shy away when it becomes a heat thing. Yeah. Man, we we take a lot of days off of wrestling when it's fucking 90 degrees in the summer. Yeah. You know, I do work a lot of conventions in the summer, but also everyone else, is, I think, is just at the same point. It's like, do we need to train, like, today? like, uh, Or let's take it easy until about 7 you know yeah then the sun's not kinda, directly on us but like you know i went out yesterday i'm to delude myself yeah oh sorry what were you saying well, i, I, I kind of delude myself when it's hot like you know if, I, if i'm like exercising I, I you know if i start sweating after like two minutes i'm like oh man i'm working so hard today yeah <laughs> you know it, it's i do kind of you that's my method and i like, oh, think it balances so much... it out getting so much done but it's just fucking 10 degrees hotter uh, but i mean it really affects um how you feel cardio uh, yeah 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 i mean for me i feel like uh, the heat during the day just zaps the energy out of me to where i go to sleep a lot earlier in the summer yeah. i'm just like done at, at eight o'clock it's like fuck it i might as well just go to sleep now oh, yeah. behind that bookshelf in this conference room in here hey there it is I was looking for all the leftover bookshelves. Thank you. Am I crazy? Chat, like, Ryden that? looks really small. Oh, that, that was that me. Was I've been saying check the conference room for about five minutes. You've been saying it could be behind some bookshelves. I didn't hear you say behind. Well, well, okay. All it's of these okay. are conference rooms to it, me. It, it, no, I Also, know. like, that's yeah. a conference room, but also that's a conference room. And I know there's, like, an elevator shaft. Yeah. No, but we did it. That's all that matters. Sorry, what was your question, um, uh, Johnny? Oh, you. You uh, son of a bitch. What it, oh. Uh, what did I say? Something about... Um, oh, yeah. So this, uh, I've never actually... Like, this is it, so strange. Cause it's like, sort of familiar with, like, the Metal Gear aesthetic, but it's like... But it's, it's such so a different gameplay. Not, yeah. I, I do think I prefer games, like, you know, 
like the gameplay of like anime, like just actiony like this. Straightforward. Yeah. Well, more like hiding. And, oh, okay. The more straightforward, uh, like the solid gameplay. I see. Yeah. It's r yeah. rising. I mean, there's a reason there's only one of these. It's like very different than solid and acids and anything. It's uh, interesting because it kind of has its own fan base, like this game yeah. specifically. Yep. I think it's, you guys talked, talked about that before. But. It, this game is like memed to hell and back. So half of the shit I see online with this game, I, I can't tell if that's from the game or someone added that text, you know, like <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's so much For wacky shit reason. with the President Anderson or the Senator. There's so much shit with that character specifically. It's like, did he really say that? Or is that a fan edit? Like, he, I don't remember. Yeah, no, he actually said, you know, want to make America say, great again. He says something about wanting to make America great yeah, again. He, he says something about, like, limp dick, libtard. Yeah. Pussies or something, uh, and it's just like, is that really in this game? <laughs> this game is a very interesting little mirror on what could happen here if if the events of Metal Gear Solid 2 have already happened and taken place, and we are in this disinformation age. It's not too far to think. Where, what does this take place in the 2040s, 2050s? Uh, I think it, I think we already passed 2018. Yes. Yeah, this no, is like no. 2018. It's not like too far. It's definitely like in the Kojima verse, but like MGS4 takes it's place. Four years after four. Yeah. I think. Something like that. Because, right, Sunny's only. Sunny is like in this, right? She's like 12 or something. Yeah, Sunny's like game. at the very end, and she's like. Nah, she was like 12 before. Now she's like, you know, 18 or some shit. Knowing these Japanese sickos probably made her 18 I years think old. She is like 12. I think she's from this one. What Wait, year, yeah, what year reliable is this? Metal Gear Wiki. I th I'm pretty sure this is 2018. He's pretty sure, Brian. I think. That missed. Uh, I don't. That missed. Um, she's 11 in this game. Wow. She's 11? Wow. No, she works yeah. at like she works at like a fucking STEM job. She's yeah, not 11. Rising in this. Revengeance. She's, she's, is a, she's a prodigy. She's an engineering prodigy. 2018. She was like 11 and 4. She's, uh... Well, no, she would have been, what, 7 and 4 then. You're telling me philanthropy was housing a 7 year old girl? Yeah. Yeah, dude, her You're mom thinking... died. I know, Olga and her Sunny two gay up. dads, you know, like, are, yeah. are raising Sunny now, but. I find that character being a 7 year old a little young to believe uh, her prodigy level. No seven-year-old cooks eggs that good. She cooked me? eggs awfully. I know. <laughs> I thought she got it right at the end. She, she By the end, that. yeah. In the credits, I think it's like a... Those live-action eggs. Yeah, footage, footage of her, her beautiful eggs. Right. She got it right for her dad, Snake, and her other dad, Hal. I think the implication is that Snake is... I mean, I don't, wanna, I don't know how much... Spoilers or whatever, but like... Oh, no, game the game is Okay, yeah, I, I think the implication is that Snake is like... Newly, freshly dead or something. I forget, there's some sort of item or something that's like... In this that game? In like, description. Yeah, like, oh, he's I've like... Oh, I've heard that. There's something about that. Have we gotten an official... The death of... Old Snake? I guess, no. I'm trying to think at the end of, no, because then Big Boss talks to him and they bring out Zero in the wheelchair. That cutscene's Yeah, but he's awesome. like old. But he doesn't really kill himself with the whole gun in his mouth thing. That was a ploy for marketing. I mean, he, I, they do, he does live, but it's like, yeah, but how much time has he got? Yeah, because he's know, got he Fox die. He's all fucked up from that, you know. Adam Although Sheets. I saw something recently that was like some modders like removed the mustache from his and it's like, oh, he doesn't look that old. <laughs> it's just the mustache. Just the mustache, you know? Yeah, just do some, uh, what is it? Looks max thing. Gotta, you know, shape, you know, make, make yourself look younger. Hey, but, he's, uh, he's just, it, he needs a shave, that's all. Yeah. But, Why can't I lock uh, on to these I, fucking guys? There's some sword or something that's like, oh, what the legendary snake would have wanted or something. Of that, but we'll keep it. We'll keep an eye out. I mean, hey, this game isn't even like. Thanks for calling in, Johnny. 
Yeah, thank I, you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that you're getting to see some footage of this game for the first time. And uh, I hope I hope you're enjoying the Metal Gear Summer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah man. man. Peace out. Peace. I'm going to heal. Excellent. A little unclear, a little hard to hear. Had a hard time, Brian. Not gonna lie. Ow. Can I get a fucking lock on, please? Oh my god almighty. Now I don't want a lock on. Nope. They never give me. The oh, it's only the homing one. I'm spoiled. Oh, so this is all just about getting away. I don't have to kill any. I don't think I can. That's why I can't target lock on him. I just have to get away from him. No need to kill them. The Beauty and Beast core. So Sunny was fucking seven years old in Metal Gear 4, and she's 11 in this game? Yeah, I guess so. Wild. She is kind of wearing the same thing. She's got the boots on still. Oh, she clapped my cheeks all right. Ow. Yeah, ow is right. Lock on. Counter. BMI air. Here we go. Slice off your little armaments. Slice them off. Grazed. I just grazed. I'm falling back into it. Don't Stop doing the impression. I lived, bitch. Okay. There you go. It's the last one. Only sliders in the area. Ooh, slider sound. Yeah, get these sliders out of here. Wait, what do I do? I do this? Does that do nothing? Nothing. It does nothing. We're we're running and gunning. Oh shit! I missed it. Let's start again. Oh. Okay, so it's just Ninja Run. I just Ninja Run. I don't need to slice or do anything. Boom. Boom. What are the odds? Here's where we come in. With a nice destruction. Shit, Brian. We're running up the fucking wall. This is where it's like, okay, this is Bayonetta 2. Oh, man, you can't miss one? Mm -mm. This has such Bayo 2 vibes to me, where you're running up a wall. Uh, yeah, I mean, that ended up being a thing in, uh, in most... In most... Uh, Platinum games? Platinum Ooh, games, yeah. I can dodge, at least. QTE coming up, I'm scared. Don't put the controller down for the coffee. Uh, we made it. We're on the next floor. Okay. I should take a quick break yes. while Doctor is calling us. Because they're saying they oh. are down. We're down as well. So don't go anywhere. Pause real quick. You can have one kiss. Okay, don't go anywhere. We're going to hit the brakes. We're going to be right back. I got to get a new cup of coffee, Brian. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. Don't anybody go anywhere. Seems like Twitch always goes down each week. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Thanks.
Coming back in. Oh, yes. Hitting a little fingers music here. Oh, that fingers. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, we're going to be hanging with the homie out at MGS Con this Saturday. Uh, glad I get to see him again. Brian, we are sitting pretty in the hallway here. Ooh, look at that. Heading up. Uh, not the not the R2, please. We're heading up another floor of the Nakatomi Plaza or whatever's going on here. Or a soccer building. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are we still in Denver, technically? Is this yeah. corporate headquarters here in Denver? Can we see a schematic? No. Shit, who's Courtney? Courtney. Uh, Wait, you can customize it any time? You caught all that. Yes, I was Jack the Ripper. All all oh, shit. He's using the voice. Don't make him use the Joker voice He's like Jared Leto. He's using his Joker voice. He's using his Joker voice, Jack is. Right. I want you on this mission. <laughs> you don't have to go through this. How could you? Kevin Doc can handle saving from me. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't want... It's my responsibility to stop them before they yes, make another Jack. Uh, he's not here. Uh, this no is he, uh, he had filled out an application so with us. It'd be better yeah. if the codex were uh, like this, right? Now, yeah. we're starting. Uh, we are hiring right now. We start at $16 an hour for the position he had applied for. Would he still be interested? Oh, my God. It's so long. $16 an hour? Yes. Um, he's not here right now. He moved. But um, uh, he's not, like, in this country. <laughs> but he'll be back. But um, you, He's not in the country? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um, this is so long, but I love the fact that it's the old school way of saving where you have to do it through codec. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Oh, because well, I don't think you actually have, have ever to save to through there. You don't have to, but it's cool you can. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually talked to her, so she had a lot to say. Because it was the first interaction. Yeah. Every time I play one of these games for the first time, though, like I run through all of it. Oh, what's yeah, up, son? Me too. What a beautiful day to die in a beautiful what garden. What a beautiful way to kill this guy. And we're gonna pole arm everybody, striking down from above. Is someone calling. Boom. Me? Spin it, brothers. Let's see what you got. Boom, boom. You know, uh, in wrestling. <clears throat> yesterday, yeah. Sometimes it's Thursday. Last this week, I should say it was Tuesday. You know, we switch sometimes. Right now it's Wednesday. Right now it's Wednesday. These are the days of the week. Uh, <laughs> this is the way the days go. <laughs> we were going over because I had requested. Is like, yo, I gotta learn how to go over the top rope for like a battle royale, right? Like yeah. The elimination. 
Because there's there's a lot of ways to go over never, the top rope, yeah, right? I never thought about that. You go over backwards, like when you get clotheslined over. Right. You go over frontwards. You can kind of do what everyone kept calling the Brock Lesnar, which was like you start out forwards, but then you start to turn your body halfway through and go out frontwards. So it's like a, a mix of both. But um, okay. It's quite advanced, really, because you really... It's just getting over your fear of, like... I have to base one arm on a top rope. Yeah. The other arm, then, on the fly, has to base the ring apron on the outside. Right, as you come down. As you come down and your legs go to the outside, and then you crumple and roll and do whatever you want on once you're out on the concrete or whatever, right? Or asphalt. Right, right. But... Or grass in the backyard where I'm at, luckily. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, you know what the technique was? Uh, homie Brandon came out. Uh, he wrestles as the Reverend Bishop Thunderbird. Shouts out. Shouts out. Uh, but he, uh, he showed us some great technique that is, like, imperative for anything big going to the outside. It's just start on the outside, go over the ropes to the inside. Because that then is not the giant distance of like, oh my god, I'm falling. Oh yeah. I, you can do everything that is over a rope from the outside going in, just opposite. Right. I am really getting my fucking ass kicked here. I cannot fucking block anything this guy's doing. Man. No health left. Can't do it. Cut the fucking arm off. It's blue, right? Why is it not going? Maybe he's not ready for me. Give him the pole twist. There you go. Now you can cut it off. I swear, though, it's like barely. Oh, he's got one of those special high hands. That's why. Yeah. He's like a mini boss. Now, you son of a bitch. Give me those legs. Zandatsu. I missed the option to get health, too. Damn. Uh, but that was super helpful from the apron. Do shit over base with your one hand and then land on the inside of the ring so i did that about a dozen times and then tried it to the outside and it was like oh i got it perfect that is smart going over it's all about like getting your belly over getting the weight of your body to go over, over and then you just got to flail them legs and make sure you base with that hand so huh. that's like the front way the back way is super like you, you got to just get over the fear because you're facing your opponent, you're leaning back on the top rope, and he's going to hit you with something to make you go backwards over and out. But it's the same thing. It's You just go backwards, hold on with one hand, and then wait for the ground to come to you, uh, which in this case it's the apron. Right. And then you base, and then, and then you bail out. But it's, it's, it's more mental than physical. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I, I really enjoy once I get over that mental over the physical. Because huh. it's physically very easy for me to do. Mentally, it's like, go for it. Go yeah. back, go backwards over the top rope now uh, to the outside. All right, that's fucking eight foot drop. Yeah. I mean, think of it as two parts. You slow yourself down when you base with your hand. So think of it as four feet and then another four feet after yeah. the base. Yeah, that's true. It's, uh... It was something fun. It's always interesting getting to uh, learn from different people that can bring like a new move or a new perspective to light. Yeah, that's true. And I was glad to get back in it because I missed training like for I think the week of Anime Expo. Mm -hmm. And then I want to say the week before that we were like helping one of the homies move. And then, yeah, it's just I haven't been in the ring in, in a while. And I got some shit coming up. I need to train for it. Ugh. I just got my ass fucking handed to me as soon as I open the door. We've had no health. The ding ding of my low health meters drive me nuts. Oh, good. They checkpointed you. Oh, yeah. They didn't do me dirty. Did it give me the pickups, though? No. Nah. We'll still run around those, but now we have full health. Also, yeah, no recovery pace, huh? At least I got that. Let me throw out... EM grenades seem to be the best. At least they were super effective against that monsoon fight. Oh, yeah. 
battle point. Let's see, let's see. What else happened, man? It's been a lot. Oh. A lot of the conventions that we're preparing for, like we said, MGS Con, but then Metal Gear uh, Con after this Saturday leads right into setup for San Diego Comic Con is like Tuesday for us. Oh, right. Yeah, so we're jumping right into that. Kevin's been prepping everything. It's gonna be a fucking blast. Now that they moved up, uh, I'm excited to be out of Comic Con. Uh, I don't know if they moved anything up. It's just always been Wednesday. Okay. But um, I know like they announced. Like, I think like uh, Hall H is probably gonna get to see the Deadpool movie early on Thursday. Oh, that's neat. It sounds like that. It sounds like there's rumors of Ryan Reynolds doing an in-character Deadpool panel, and it's also like like a ticketed thing and it's extended. Ooh, can I sneaky sneak? Yes. Uh, lock on, dog. It's extended. It's like three hours or something. So it's like, well, what are they gonna do for three hours? Like, uh, they're probably gonna show the movie. Oh, right in the butthole. That too. Right in the bee hole. Oh, that's not where you want to get Zandatsu. Can I not fucking? Can I please? I'm aimed down. I can't. It's not gonna give it to me, dude. I'm gonna die. I fucking hate my life, Brian. What the <laughs> fuck, guys? What the fuck? Is right, Eric. I want the fucking health. So I can heal. God damn it. I, I crossed through the square about a million times. Did I not? Guess not. Did I fucking lie? I'm going to drop down on this guy like a Shenmue. Here we go. Here he is. Target. Target acquired. Psych. Okay, now you're going to give it to me? You son of a bitch. You know you do. Ooh. You know I love it. Heal and I've got a green hand. Nice. Got that green hand. Pick I'm, that shit. I'm stalking slowly in the shadows. The sombrero assassin do, do, silently do, do. creeps. Do, do, do. We're gonna lock onto this fool. He sees nothing. The wide brim barely pokes out between the wide pillar. All right. Okay, here we go. Get in. Get in. Get in. It's circle, right? Should tell you. Slice! Give me the health. I swear to God, Brian. There we go. What, what is happening with the game? I think it's because you're flailing. What does that mean? Like, flailing. I think just because you're... I'm I think, tapping the you button. You have to wait until it gets that... And oh, then fuck you, can... you. I was ta I was tapping the goddamn... <laughs> That's fine. That was pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> shit. Should have used it here. Hi! <laughs> Hi, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ugh. 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 Sound like Molly Moon. That's exactly what I was <laughs> yeah, doing. Yo, I knew that was familiar. I was like, Brian just gave me a weird boner. Marker placed. I'm getting horny. I hear that happens a lot. <laughs> hey, do you want to play a game? My grandmother's asleep. Come down to the basement with me. Those Molly Moon videos were weird. Frank told me there's some other videos that are better. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some good ones. Oh, shit. Don't do that. That is true. No, don't do that. All right, where's a guy? Give me some fucking health, dude. Now. Lock on to this son of a bitch. How far are you back? In oh my fucking god. Ugh! What? How far back are you with AEW? I finished uh, everything that's aired except for today's Dynamite. Alright. But I have not been watching since Forbidden Door the way I used to watch. I'm just. It's on in the background. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I. Because uh, it's five hours a week. I was intently watching. Five hours a week. I can't do that anymore. No. Especially during the summer con season. Just with all the traveling and shit. I was like falling behind. Yeah. I did not watch Forbidden Door. Um, that was me last summer. I didn't even watch it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the first pay-per-view in a long time I've missed. And I'm fine. Like I don't want to watch it. It's fine. Yeah, you don't need to. I'm And, and I'm like kind of caught up on what's kind of going on by just checking out like, you know, here and there. Like, oh man, this... Uh, 
This Mystico match that's coming up, though, I, I want to see that. I love yeah. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that does. There's some shit I'm, I'm interested in. I'm kind of following stuff. It was great meeting Sheeta out, yeah. out at the uh, Sega party at Anime Expo like I talked about last week. Seeing her uh, fight, it was awesome. It's like, oh, wow, it was so cool. Like, seeing her in real life, seeing her with her hair down now in this match where, you know, she kicked the shit out of, uh, who was it? Diana Perrazzo, I think? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, on Collision? I can't remember. I was watching. I, it's just been all kind of burning through my DVR. Yeah. And I and uh, and then once they were all cleared, I deleted them all. And that happened today. I finished everything. Nice. Basically. Yeah, see, I don't fuck with Collision too much unless I got something. Saturday night. Give it yeah, to me, dude. Some night off on a Saturday. It's like, oh, yeah, Collision's on. Let's put on Collision. Um, other than that. Oh, fuck. Don't give me none uh, of it's your just dynamite because dynamite is all I can keep up with, and then the pay per views when I can. Dynamite's where it's at, brother. Uh, I really enjoy dynamite, and last week's end with the fucking Mariah May going fucking crazy on Storm. <laughs> Bloody dude, dude, just bloodied her. Up. Not even just beating her up, but like fucking. Get it. Get it. I'm using you the stick. You have to get that blue line through. I'm there using the stick. Didn't fucking work. It was above it. Uh, but man, yeah, again, it was fucking great. I, I I just love to see some uh like some talents get that elevation that they deserve. And Mariah May oh, is and I got a fucking up. badass. Yeah, Mariah May. I now uh am stoked. Like, hopefully she gets her own music because she's been in. Oh yeah. She's been in Tony's gear. Yep. She's been coming out to Tony's entrances. Yep. And her music, like now, cool. We've got her branched out. Does she get her own gear? Is she gonna be in lesbian with uh, what's the other girl from Stardom or whatever? Nina Shirakawa. Yeah, they're gonna have something together where they can just they're in run love, dude. Havoc on uh, Tony and you know the rest of the women's division. The L word, bro. It's really good. It's really great. I, I love to see it. There was a lot of boob grabbing in the <laughs> in the like lead up to. Forbidden Door. There was not only like the kissing that happens at the end of every match. What's what's her name? The the gal from Stardom. Uh, Mina Shirakawa. Oh, Mina Shirakawa. We want Mina. So sexy. Uh, her whole gimmick and everything is great. And I was really not gonna lie, enjoying all of the yeah, groping and kissing and <laughs> lesbian adventures that they were innuendoing. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Pop. Yeah, they're way more lenient in this game than a regular Metal Gear. Slice. I'm... I'm... Dude. Dude. You see where the blue line uh, is? Yes! It's there! there it's go. through! It's not giving it to me, though. I swear to God, Brian, I'm just wasting. It's I'm weird. gonna go... I'm gonna go to recovery. Yeah. It's, I'm um... using another electrolyte pack. It's... It's are, nice, dude. Are they it's, on to me? It's cool to see, um... They're these not? characters and these people get, like... Uh, elevated and shown on TV. So yeah, Mariah May being you know some new blood, being fucking like uh, their own character, and then having Mina Shirakawa come from stardom, and having Tony put them both over because oh, yeah. her gimmick is so fucking powerful too. Like she could just keep being the champion. Oh yeah, and they've known each other. Like these people have oh, all yeah. worked Rooms together, together in stardom. They're, they this is going to be such a fun program between the three. This, I can't wait. This next year, the women's division is strong. Uh, not a lot going on in men's division too that I like really care that much about. Uh, I, 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 I'm I'm super down with uh, what's going on right now with Swerve. Scapegoat stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I like the like, I, I, I like know. the scapegoat stuff. I love the Okada. Uh, the Okada I love shit. Jack. Uh, or I'm sorry. I love uh, who is it? It's Hook. Yeah. And uh, Joe. And is that the also Learning Tree is so Okada? Good. Yeah, that that's okay. I love the learning tree. That's that's I'm, what it's getting a little really stale. On. Oh, he sees me. Yeah, but that's I think kind of the point, right? Like it's it, it, it's his character as everybody knows Jericho, and he's all he's too much. He's over fucking. He's too over, and he's everywhere, and that. Is, but he is putting over young talent. Exactly. So yeah, maybe he's talking a little too Hi, much. Hi guys. But man, <laughs> Big Bill, Large William, as I like to call him, 
Never looked better. Never looked better. Now I, we got the dude, fucking the size. The, the bad apple, Brian you, Keith. You know what's funny? I love that outlaw gimmick, too. He dresses like fucking Raiden here, for real, dog. Yeah. When he has the Serapa on and a... That's a, that's a Texas wrestler right there in Brian Keith. Man. Oh, I love Brian Keith. He wears the fucking pants so high over the belly button. I, it's a look. It's an interesting... It sets him apart, that gear. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I do like him a lot. The uh, the women's division this just has a lot going on for me. Yeah. For me personally, I, I think it's got the star the, most... uh, the Chris Statlander and, and Willow kind of thing going is cool. Yes. It's I was got... glad that kind of she turned evil. It's nice to see a uh, change in the character for Stat. I just I guess I'm bored with like Roddy Strong and the Undisputed Kingdom. And mm -hmm. the... I I do like Orange Cassidy kind of losing his whole world. I do too. And yeah. now he's got he's the punished orange. Uh, yeah, he's got to like figure his life out now without his friends. Oh, I love it. I love I love the little bit of state change all these people have gone through. You know, we, yeah. we aren't getting the exact same shit and same characters. That's true. From last year, like all of these characters have changed in some fundamental way. Oh, we way. gotta go up. Yeah. Oh, we about to go up. Okay. But yeah, like Stat is no longer just this goody two shoes. I like how Willow Nightingale's character has become more of an established person, and now like has a vendetta against Stat and Stoke. Like they've really built these characters as uh, people with legit storylines as well as great fighters. So yeah, the fighting is uh, it's a different style, right? And it's a style that I really like. Yeah, it's wrestling. Um, it's what? It's it's just wrestling. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. Also, it's a different. You know, you have you have Japanese guys against Mexican guys against you know Canadians and U.S. Uh, schools, Texas yeah. Southern style. You have all these different schools of wrestling coming together and lending, you know, the CMML talent and the New Japan stuff. Like those guys bring their own flair and their own style. I don't know. It's just such a varied uh, wrestling program. And I think they get some shit for that from the WWE fanatics. Now, I'm not going to be the AEW fanatic and hate on WWE because I, I don't mind that programming as well. Yeah. It's just not what I technically check. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, I, I don't check in on anything other than, like, how's my girl Jade doing? Oh, she... She's still she's still botching shit. Okay, uh, fuck. All right, uh, that's sad. Uh, or how's Punk going? Oh, the Drew McIntyre thing's happening. All right, right on. That's awesome. Uh, for Drew, I love that he's getting that main event shit. I like him. He's a good looking physical specimen. You remember back? He looks in the like day, a champion. Eric and I would be watching the uh, NXT. We'd be watching no Raw, and it was the the three man band. Oh fuck! I used to make fun of three man bands yeah. so fucking hard with that, you guys. And that was Drew was in that. That was Drew. And was Sheamus in there too? No. Who was no. the pale fucker? That was um. That was the guy who had the shirt. I can't, now I lost his name. Bro, the, the I got kids that Sean should have gotten. I yeah. I I can't <laughs> handle the way Sheamus. He's he Slater. Or Heath Slater or those pale wrestlers look. Like oh, I man. can't handle it to the point of like. Yo, I'm a fucking fake tan my ass for my fucking <laughs> debut. At least you got tattoos, man. I got tattoos to cover certain things, but I'm super pale at other places, and I just hate that so much. It's like I'm going the daddy magic route, and I'm a fucking, I'm a tan up in a fake <laughs> with that with that moose. I'm gonna get that pink glove out and everything, dude, before the show. There you go. There they are. And Three there man you band. Have it. Oh shit. Wait, let me look at this real quick. <laughs> There's <Drew> McIntyre. <laughs> Oh, getting it in, man. Give me the Ross Smackdown, Brian. Dynamite. Yeah, like honestly, now. Oh, shit. At the end, we're good. <laughs> that was that was all I needed to say about wrestling for this week. Oh shit! Hold on, I I got a little uh, I got a little verklempt. Let me let me take this again. Hope that doesn't mean the whole level. No. We got one. Guy's gonna run at me. Because these guys are going up. Actually, I should hit him with the fucking launcher. I'll hit him with the fucking launcher before he even gets over here. Boom! 
Take that. Mother. Lock on. Boom, another one for your boys. <laughs> hey, see if you get Put some splash on damage your here. Red shoes and dance the blues. Speaking of splash damage. Let's go. Been playing Valkyrie Profile still. Yeah, tell me about KLBR. KLBR is like been hot been and heavy. All about that action RPG on KLBR. That that is a fucking impressively fun game. Um, I said it before. If Ranty, if you're still here, that's a game you would absolutely love. Um, you can get it on PSN Valkyrie Profile. It's a really good action RPG, and it's I don't know. It kind of reminds me of. Um, Wish I could fault in these. I know. Right? Oh, look at that! Oh, you find a little look at extra. That. Who hid this here, Mr. Platinum? Mr. Kojima? Probably not. But yeah, it's been a, <laughs> it's it, it's been a really fun game. I put 11 hours into it. Super impressed that I cared oh, yeah. that much about uh, an RPG for this long. Yeah. But it's it doesn't play like a regular RPG. It so really. It's nice. Yeah, it, it's like a light RPG. It's an, it, it really is like <sighs> a step toward what like. You know, not a zelda styled action RPG. Uh, and that's what that's what was really interesting about it. Um, yeah, there's definitely a strategy. I love doing the combo mode. Um, and trying you to get, get your like, Ein Harriers out yeah. and you can combo all four into the special or whatever. Like, that, it feels so good. I, I absolutely love that feeling. It's then you a can kind get, of magic. You can get that fucking, like, nice super move chain going if you can get it a uh, full meter. It's real good. You know, it reminds me, not gameplay-wise at all, but just like it's an RPG light in its um, Bravely Default for the 3DS. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That was that little square. I, I feel like it stayed too long because basically I had you like double every objective when you like hit a halfway point in the game, which is too much. Stayed too long, but uh, Valkyrie Profile, I think, is a little more succinct than the story. Yeah. But I, they, they just feel like RPG lights. It, it feels even like, in style and in gameplay, a little bit like Octopath Traveler. Oh, I haven't um, fucked with that. They, really? those, those were good games. Um, those were more turn-based, but it reminded me a little bit of that and a little bit also of um, certain aspects of Wild Arms um, with the active, uh, active combat. But... Yeah, ultimately, it really gave that feeling of uh, of Octopath Traveler, Ooh. also Mario and Luigi, the the that series of RPGs where your attacks and like um, counters are based on button inputs. Not many other games have used that tactic or, or that like control scheme, like like Valkyrie Profile. Like you can move left, right, yeah. uh, you know, or forward and back is what it ends up being game wise but like if somebody's attacking you with a physical attack and you know what it is you can step back and, and then move. choose to do a counter yeah and if you do if there isn't a rebuff uh to that move then you actually can cancel theirs bring in your second unit and start up a chain and that's what i like about it it's that's, it allows for these it's like different yeah it's not just me going fight magic summon item you know like it actually ke it keeps me pretty engaged and I don't like when I end every fight and none of my characters have gotten hit once. Oh, I didn't get in time. It, when I find a strategy that allows me to do that in a game like this, then I feel like I earned it. But when I'm playing an RPG and every character, every time I end it, you know, end a fight, it, I, I didn't even get hit once because every character is strong enough to do one hit melee attack on them. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just grinding for grinding's sake. And this, it really doesn't feel like that. And, and I like being able to, like... Send people up to the fucking Asgard, you know, like train train my fucking uh, You gotta do it make Odin happy. Yeah Like and, and then you send back artifacts so that Odin get, sends uh, a Favorable version of it and like you get this like team XP using it is very unique and Building your skill set is specific like you know you, you talk to a, a Freya and Freya tells you what kind of warriors you need Yeah, so as you're doing each part of the world like it's very focused and intentful, and it wants you to constantly take your characters and um, switch them around. Switch them around. Send them out on missions. They send you new characters that are stronger and better suited for the future missions. So uh, you mentioned uh, yeah. it being similar to like sending your guys out on mother base assignments and yeah, yeah, I, making I totally, characters better. I totally get that. And yeah, buffing them. 
And it's fun, man. Like, I don't know if I'm playing it right, but uh, I'm having fun, so to me that means, yeah. I'm yeah, playing I it mean, right. Yeah, of course. It, that's, you that's could probably just play the main four characters you like over and over again, get yeah. them all level 99, and then, you know, beat it. I, I, and, you know, of course I favor the Valkyrie. I, fa I favor my... Uh, Lenneth? My, my main character, Lenneth. I love her. I think she's great. Uh, she's but yeah, the Valkyrie. Yeah. I, I definitely try to even out the the skill set and try to build a good team. Like, I feel a, like a tank? Yeah. Magic? Yeah. Healer? So I, she's I, your healer, right? Uh, I can't remember. It's she been... actually doesn't really do a lot of healing. You gotta have to mage, mage it. <laughs> yeah, the first mage I got, I've been kind of like buffing them the whole time. Have and a I, grenade. And I feel like I should have, maybe not, but I've dumped so much time into them already that I'm like, nah, I'm gonna hold on to them. Um, but yeah, now it's really hard for me to give up a second spot to another mage uh, to try to get them, the you know, the other characters buffed up the way they need to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, that's but. If you do fucking shit like event XP shit, you can use that on the characters you don't fight with. So the characters you're fighting with gain fight XP. Yeah. But if you do world XP building stuff like, oh, uh, donate this back to Odin for him to uh, have this. Okay, cool. You get 55,000 EXP for this. To spend for that. Yeah, so you can put that Sacrifice towards Sacrifice that guy. Yeah, you can put that towards those characters that might otherwise not be very good in a fight because there's a lot yeah you gotta kill off uh you gotta break a few eggs yeah yeah it's i had one character dead through two fucking ages it was great make an omelet i let them die and i'm like they suck fuck them <laughs> but it's cool now i'm figuring out kind of how to play it and then the ps uh you're waiting happened. for ragnarok to happen yeah basically it's it's funny because yeah each time they're like oh if things don't get better we're doomed i'm like well things are we're doomed anyways it's ragnarok it's it always comes. It always happens. Yeah, and then it's reborn. Um, oh, shit. But yeah, again, it's it's really fun to just go through this game. I'm sure there's a number of ways to play it, but uh, I'm enjoying the way that I'm playing. Super it. replayable, I bet. Yeah. yeah. And I never have I gone in a new game plus it. I've always just yeah, you know. But it's also got me eager to check out other games. Like, I've been wanting to kind of hit Days Gone for a bit. Oh, okay. Trish that, really liked that. That's a game that I really enjoyed, but I think when it came out, it was really, really um, oversaturated with the market of fucking open world style games like this. And, um, and I really feel like that that's a game that I should try on stream on KLBR. You think you would play that through all the way? Yes. Yeah, because nowadays I know not to get myself bogged down on clearing a whole area before I fucking move on. Yeah. Speaking of moving on, need to heal. There we grabbed it. I also kind of like for now put uh, Final Fantasy on hiatus. Oh, Final Fantasy re... Uh, whatever. <laughs> I always am like, what's it called? Reunion birth, whatever. The newest one, yeah. Yeah. Just because I'm, I'm still kind of in the same area. I'm, I'm still in. Um, like the it just area helped after Costa del Sol. Yeah, like it just helped all the Johnnies get their fucking little okay, sack yeah. packs I'm back. See, I'm right around there, and like I said last week, you know, I didn't get back to that because that's what I was playing before AX. Yeah. But it got me jumping back into Yakuza Seven to try to finish. Nice. What? You died. What am I supposed to be doing? I think you're supposed to be attacking the little, uh, like, arm things on the... Do I have to do all the fucking guys again? Ah, yeah. fuck. Hey, just chain them right <clears> now. <throat> there you go. The elevator can't take much more of this. I know the platform is using losing speed, Doctor. So I think that's it. I think you have to kill those guys. I think I just let them wear down. Oh, 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 get off this fucking side. Oh, go to the other side. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's a whole other fucking elevator. There's a whole other side. Get this fucking energy real quick. Come here, you dirty buggers. All right, yeah, yeah, you gotta get out of there. That's all I had to do? Oh shit. Easy. I just stayed too long at the dance. Yep. Easy ease back again. Nuts to your nose, to your lips, to your chin. 
Okay. He was trying to get dizzy, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna spin Snake, and then he's gonna vomit. Oh, that was uh, Metal Gear 3. You again? I don't think I can block that. No, I did. Oh, fuck. I thought I didn't get it, but I did. Woo. A lot going on with these birds, as they call them sliders up in the air here. I know. Little pieces of shit. Oh, I did jump at one, though. That's kind of cool. Do we got... Yeah, we're back in action here. Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, shit. It's the maybe stop, but let's take that last call, Brian. The sure. TPG's been very patiently waiting in the waiting room. The we, patient game. We have not had the name rings true. We have not had... Anyone ask for the wheel spin, by the way. I just want to preface that. Wheel spin. Wheel spin hell right away. All right, now we need two more. Yeah, we do need two more calls before the night's <laughs> over. And we're getting close to the end, y'all. But that it's is true. funny that eventually. One. Thank you, the patient gamer. How the hell are you? Yeah, did you have another purpose for your that? call, or are you only we have for noted, the wheel spin? We have noted you are looking for the spin. Yes, yes. Um... I wanted to know your opinion on uh, the state of Tenacious D. The Tenacious ah. D? We kind of touched on it, but it's so well, funny. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Brian was talking about it when, when when I was having fun doing my impression. But I but I wanted to dive deeper into how much I think Jack Black's a little bitch. Kyle shouldn't have said it. He shouldn't have said it about me. That's, uh... <laughs> Not that's... funny. In bad taste, even though it was a comedy show or comedy band... Make up yeah. your mind. Are you rock and roll or not? Not. <laughs> well, it's like... I mean, you can rock and roll. What's more rock and roll than, like, uh, an offensive joke about assassinating the president? Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the most rock and roll thing you can say into a microphone, probably, in Australia really? at the time. But, yeah, yeah Jack, you know. what do you think? What do you, We kind of talked about, like, is it real? Are I they think, still cool? Ooh. JB just wants that Bowser money, that Nintendo Bowser money, you know? Yeah, but why, does Nintendo need to, like, be, I guess, anti-murder, I guess? He just, he, he just, uh, he's like, ah, shit, anything kind of, like, anti-corporate or whatever. I'm sure he just, just like, a little wants spicy. to save his ass. It's just, just too yeah, spicy. Yeah, he just wants to save his ass on every account. But yeah. Maybe I don't... they're not, like, fully breaking up, oh, but, like... Kill them before you can hit that Intel thing. Sorry. Yeah. That's why I'm like, why the fuck won't it let you? I Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't think they're like fully gonna break up. No. But uh, definitely, just gonna lay low a little bit. My fuck. my mindset is always to uh, attribute um, a controversy to some sort of cover up, um, which I don't think is the case here. But my first thought is, why oh, are they trying to get that? out of doing the rest of their their tour, and they just wanted a reason? This is. A reason, why, you know. Um, they still get paid. Uh, who knows? Who knows? You know, maybe uh, huh. it doesn't matter anymore. It was like a previously whatever thing, and they weren't getting paid enough, so it wasn't worth their time. Oh, uh, it might be uh, an easy way to ooh, get off the tour. Who knows? Who knows? You know, you can, you never, you never can say. The other part of me That's then also point. goes, all right, let's be realistic. And what I think happened is they said some shit. Jack Black got scared, and instead of like taking an opportunity to remind people that his penis band is <laughs> a comedy group and that sometimes yeah. even though things are charged we can still find a way to laugh and that if we yeah. can't laugh wouldn't it be funny like he didn't mean would it be I, funny in no way did it sound like Kyle Gass was actually going Go totally. uh, try again, someone, please. Yeah, no, it was no, like no. It was like, hey, say the say the most fucked up thing that's on everybody's mind. What's the thing that Uncle always says? It's not like the Red Hot Chili Peppers playing Light My Fire when there's already several fires being started <coughs> in the audience yeah. at Woodstock 99. Right. It's Wh not like that. Which, Damn. by the way, was, you know, I interesting. mean, uh, an interesting What do you expect choice, a rock band to do? But it was an homage to... You know, Jimi Hendrix, Jimi the Hendrix, best. who had played that original Woodstock. He's the yeah. best. But again, I think that there was a moment here for uh, for Jack to come out and say, "Guys, we're a band whose name 
is a penis joke. We write comedy music. Kyle saying this, while it might have offended some people, is clearly said in, in an arena that is for humor. We need to learn how to not take things as seriously as we are taking yeah. them. That's why are I think they? he's being a bitch. That's the and ultimate issue that I have with Jack's this whole thing. being a little the they are best bitch. friends too, right? I like, mean, that's the other they, part. Are they actually best friends? Because why not step up for your buddy? I mean, again, he wants to save face and yeah. be in another Nintendo movie, or I don't know. Yeah, make that money. Maybe yeah. you know Jack but Black is afraid the CIA yeah. is gonna like knock on his door because of that I, shit Jable yeah. said. He's like, I don't want the I don't want the police coming to my house. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna but, I'm gonna cover my tracks. But that's the thing. I I mean, who knows? <laughs> who knows what ended up happening, or if it was just, you know, again, we're talking about it. He so. should have said in Minecraft afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> he should have said, uh, "Don't miss in Minecraft or in Call of yeah, Duty," yeah. or you know, like it, something like that. It's just weird because it didn't even happen yeah. here. Like it, if having it happened, Australia, if it, it, in the place yeah, where, yeah. Uh, 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 again, in a place where it's a literal country that was built for to be a prison. Like these, the people there get the fucking joke. They call each other a cunt all the time. You know, it, it's it's. If Are you hitting the them with the prison colony? Dude, they fucking. T I mean, that's what uh, they take the piss out of each other. Probably in a most fun way. I feel like Australians. In in, in 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 my experience, with every Oi. time I've had an experience with anybody from they're Australia, they're a jovial people. They are the most jovial, the most am amiable, the most fun. You could say the stupidest, most heinous thing in front of them. Well, I wouldn't go and, as far. Hey, and let's walk uh, dude, it back here. I mean, I've had some conversations with. No, with you don't know a stranger. Oh, You're man. not gonna say some heinous shit to them, but I, I'm just saying, you know. I like, mean, they opened the door. I'll tell you. As a whole. When I was in San Francisco for a layover once, and I met up at five in the morning with a with a couple of, of dudes on a sports watching trip. Sports watching. Basically, they were gonna just go all the way from Northern California to Southern California in in uh, in this time, and go to whatever local sports games th that were available. So, you know, they were going to basketball. Sounds fun. Hockey. A baseball, good, good old boys trip. So these yeah. Australians, they were party animals? They were partying at fucking I, like six in the morning down at the pool with I was in Japan. Of keystones. I was in Japan staying in a hostel in uh, 2010, and there was yeah. a group of Australian men staying in like a four-person bunk bedroom. And, yeah, they were partying hard all <laughs> weekend long. Yeah. Every time I went by, they were drinking in that room. Yeah. Party. Wow. Uh that's crazy. There's only one Australian man I know, and you may know him. He's uh, Mott Boy. In oh, yeah. Mott Boy. Good on him, uh, mate. It's the only uh, Australian man I am acquainted I've with. I've never, I don't think I've ever met an Australian I didn't like. Wait a minute. Mistral, yeah. we killed her. No, this is a clone. Damn it, dog. A sexy ass clone. Spare body, and they fucking did an AI. Oh, this is where you figure out where all the AIs are coming from. Slice. Yeah, that was uh, that was my question, and uh, I also wanted to tell you guys that I started my back piece tattoo oh. on Saturday, and it was the most pain I think I've ever been in my entire life. The back, really? What part of the uh, back? I did, did the you back, start? and I had I had I had my two buddies tattoo me at the same time. Oh, oh you got four oh. hands, bro! Yeah. Four hands yeah. treatment? That's awesome, yeah. dude. I'm so were they starting on either side and working towards the middle? Yep. Oh, oh that's yeah, bad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, dual it, pain. You don't know where to clench. It all hurts. Honestly, yeah, I could only stand about two and a half hours for the first session, but they got a lot done. Just outline so far? Uh, no, they got outline and like they filled in like all of the black. I got two skulls. Oh, 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 so they so filled that, in a lot. Yeah. They just got to do color. Okay, if you got a bunch of black shading, yeah, that hurts, man. It... I'll, yeah, I'll show you guys a picture. It, I'd uh, love to see. Yeah, I don't have anything on my back at all yet. I've had plans over the years. <laughs> it was humbling. It, it was interesting. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah, it was like the seriously worst pain ever. I'll tell everyone out there right now, 100%. Now is the time if you're thinking about getting tattoos because the older you get and the longer you wait in your life, the more it fucking hurts. <laughs> the ability to block oh, wow. out pain as an 18-year-old getting like four hours done on my chest is is just uncanny like i can still remember the sensations and the feelings and being like this is all this <laughs> is it
But now, yeah. as someone who's like gone back to getting tattooed in their 40s, it's like, oh my god, this hurts immensely worse than it did when yeah. I was younger. Really? Your body oh, wow. just doesn't have the 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 natural healing bounce back. Oh, it doesn't have the the, the, the same the same endocrine uh, volume of of chemicals floating around to block out pain and everything else is just different, you know. And it's just you are way better at getting tattooed when you're younger, man. Yeah. I can't the, believe I've seen some old timers. Yeah. It must get exponential and just hurt worse and worse. So, like, people in their 60s getting stuff on top of, like, an ankle bone. Oh, that must be just Ouch. deadly. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to fill it, finish out my whole back. Um, Very cool. Before I'm 30. Oh, hell yeah, um, man. Full yeah, color or is it all going to be uh, black and, and uh, shaded? So, they're going to do... Um, they're gonna make the skulls like kind of like brownish, kind of like real skull color almost. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, like decayed, and then they're gonna put in like, they're gonna pack in like a bunch of like bright red flames. Ooh. It's kind of the main Ooh, thing. Ooh, red and black. So it'll be black and red. And are yeah. you pale, uh, by by chance? Because that's really gonna make that <laughs> <Yeah>. skin. <laughs> I'm not red. necessarily pale. I'm a little tan. I'm, uh, mixed. That red will uh, pop Hispanic though if you if you if you keep the suntan mm. off your back, man. That red will just yeah. Mm. I've got a couple red tattoos already, and they look really good. Got a couple I... Japanese pieces on my. Oh, that's great. I love that. Um, I, I think I've always wanted to get a tattoo, but then when I realized how bad it is to like you know bake your tattoos in the sun. Oh yeah, it just blurs it, them. It, it, I mean, I know it's not the worst thing in the world after they're. I just they, stay indoors. They've set. What the fuck? Oh yeah, it's like a boss rush. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, see, I like going. That to scared the, me, I like dude. going to the beach. I like going to the pool. I like being shirtless when I, when I do that. And you like, like getting some color. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I'm, just, uh, I'm Lebanese and I want to get that color, but I don't want that smooth all of that beautiful I don't have skin. About that fucking tattoo. They gotta fully heal. They yeah. gotta fully heal, and then I'd say you're good to go to the beach. So like, go and like. January, yeah. or, or just up, always sunblock them. You know, summer. like yeah. I or go, yeah, I go out in the sun a lot, but like I don't, nor I don't regularly sunblock my legs. You know, yeah. and I wear shorts a lot. Yeah. So I can tell, like after years now, like there's some lines on my legs that are blurred out a bit. It's, yeah. it's right. just it, any sun over time, it's just gonna degrade the sharpness. Uh, totally. But wear sunblock. Go you know, be. Be adamant about putting sunblock on if you're outside in the sun. That's true. I'm really bad about that. Or yeah, I'm uh, I'm now on this kick where I'm, I swear to God I'm getting that fucking self tanner. I'm gonna become really fucking bronzed one of these days. Do the Trump yeah, voice too. Like MJF. I'm gonna look like MJF was spilling down his arm. Go get it. Go get it. When he sweats. Damn. Oh, get really tan for a podcast and just do the Trump voice the whole time. <laughs> Let me tell you. Orange. You're gonna be orange. Roll right on. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, we have call, one dude. one request for the wheel spin on the board. We need two we, more to we get. We will it. hope. Thank you, TPG, for more. Hell yeah. See you guys. This is going to kill me. No. Hell yeah, dude. BD, Blue Dre, Blue Rive, Blue Drive, Blue Ray Drive. You're right, man. Right, yeah. Monsoon. Jesus. Blue Ray Drive Monsoon. <laughs> I got to worry for it. That's what it stands for. BD Monsoon, right? <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right. We are going to just do this last part. We got to do last. And then we got to hit the plugs, and then we got to get out of here. Oh, man. It's getting there. Oh, wait. We got to do the whole thing hit again? Bro, Wait. I'm not fighting Mistral all over. No, no, we'll no, save no. this for next week. Uh, yeah. We started last week with a nice boss fight. That was this week. Jesus I know. Christ. It was. Now it's going to happen again. Don't do it. Tomorrow. Next week, well, I'm going to get it right eventually. <laughs> you really are fucking wiped out, We're man. going to start rest. it with a boss fight next week. I promise you it's going to be awesome. Yes. <laughs> We're going to listen to the deco prank call here. Shut up. Uh, until I get the plugs up, let me uh, resume. No, I want to make sure I save. Yeah. That's the one thing. Uh, should we talk to... Our friend on the codec again, Courtney. Sure. A lot faster. Go. A lot faster this time. Yeah. I like that. That was uh... a. <laughs>
It was we had not like fucked with any Kodak calls yeah. or anything. So yeah. Yes, uh, yes, okay, don't go anywhere. Uh, he's not here. Uh, you can have one key. He, uh, he had filled out an application with us. Yeah. Um, now we're starting. Uh, we are hiring right now. We start at sixteen dollars an hour for the position he had applied for. Would he still be interested? Sixteen dollars an hour. Yes. Um, he's not here right now. He moved, but um, uh, he's not like in this country. <laughs> but he'll be back. But um, William, he's not in the cunt. Oh my him. God! Hey guys! Hey guys! Jesus Christ! Brian, Ooh. that music can only mean one thing. It's time for the plugs, baby. Look at him. Hello. Grounded. <laughs> Welcome. We talked about it at the top of the show, but we are heading out to Long Beach, California for MGS Con 2. Shouts out to the homies over at the Kojima Frequency. Shouts out to Fingers. Shouts out to all the vendors in the vendor hall. I'm looking to pick up some new stuff. The big dog, Zanzibar Land, with all the patches. You got creators like Maddie. You got streamers. You got voice actors. They're taking such good care of us. Can't wait to see them. I'm telling you, the photo opportunities at our table are going to be off the chain. Come by if you can. If not, Comic-Con International is the following weekend. Do you have your tickets, Brian? I do not. It's impossible to get into this thing as well. No. Could be harder to get into than Metal Gear Solid. San Diego Comic Con comes to us from Wednesday to Sunday next week. Both events will have fully stocked Master Collection box sets. It also goes back on sale this Friday at noon. Check out shop.mega64 for more. What else is going on? Our panel. And our booth. Booth 1435 all weekend long. San Diego Comic Con. Join us Friday, 645 at room 6DE. For the Mega 64 panel already removed from streaming for tax purposes. Yes. Gotta be. We can't stream our panel anymore because it was removed for tax purposes, guys. Gotcha. You can find us here. Check out this lovely little map. Does that get any bigger? Not really. But look it. We're right in the middle of all the good bullshit. Ooh. Look at that. We're facing the small presentation pavilion. Oh, that says press. Excuse me. But we're, we're, you know, kind of next to Marvel, so that's not bad. Marvel's a big name, Brian. They are. Again, the Master Collection this Friday. Shop.mega64.com. Frank Howley! Check it out. Frank and Hikaru Shida in the flesh. This is a lovely photo from that Yakuza party. And Frank's no-clip documentary recaps all Anime Expo weekend with a hard focus on Sega's party that Saturday night. It's a great view. You're going to want to check it out. YouTube over on the no-clip crew webpage. They got two, Brian, like we do. The archives and the regular, they got the crew and the and the regular. Danny O'Dwyer doing it Rocco Bodie style, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Kings Kings of the Castle. What are we talking? Republican Nash? I don't want to see that. Get rid of that. I, I fuck off with that. Alright. I fuck off with that. Get rid of that. Alright. I fuck off with that. Get rid of that. Why don't you go and fuck off then? Thank you again, guys. Yeah, you
We sure to love you. Uh, we'll see you next time. But he'll be back. But um, you, he's not in the country. See you, Long yeah, Beach. Yeah, he's not in the country. Oh, 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 okay. But uh, what's the position that he applied for? Um, he applied for a doggy style, uh, which would be to clean up the backyard and where they were filming. Basically, he's just going to move a couple of uh, chairs, but he just has it's the hours that we needed him for. Oh yeah, well, right, Frank. Because I'm. Well, can I have somebody else apply? My sister is interested. Yeah. I think she's going to apply. Sure. We're sending them over, Frank. We can, um, Hell yeah. Actually, I can set up an interview for tomorrow if you'd like. Oh, see, she's not even here right now. That, is doesn't, sound, that doesn't sound very reliable. We're looking for reliable people. Is, <laughs> is she going to be reliable? Yeah, she's going to be reliable, but... um. This is paid sixteen dollars an hour. It is a tough position to fill. Okay, what are you the hours? You've got to be able to take it with a uh, grain of salt. Okay, what are the hours? And, and the no. hours are as follows. Would they be? Would she be able to do those hours? Okay. Would she be able to do those hours? <laughs> well, you have to tell me which hours they are. I did. What did, what did you say? Oh, the hours are Monday through Friday, eleven in the morning till five at night. Um, and no, you have, no, she won't be able to do those hours. There's a two-hour break that you are paid for. Two-hour break that they're paid for? It's yes. like dream hours. Man. Okay, well, I'll ask her, and um, she's definitely coming back tonight. What are you going to ask her? Huh? What are you going to ask her? Tonight. She'll be back. She said she'll be back by 10, so. What is she doing now? What? Is she working now? No, she's not working now. Is she getting it by her boyfriend? Who is this? <laughs> Excuse me, this is... No, it's not. Why not? Why not? This is Quentin Veslovius Cox. Quentin Veslovius Cox. <laughs> what? Quentin Veslovius Cox. QVC. Veslovius Cox. QVC. Perhaps oh, you thought okay. it was CVS. QVC. I'm calling with you. You perhaps got it confused with CVS. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I don't even. I don't know. I don't even know. What well, when she's done, uh, you know, swallowing the cock, then she can give us a call and. You know. Well, I really don't think she'd be interested with someone like you as a <laughs> Where are we going? I hope everyone's enjoying the life. Oh, yeah, let me tell you all about it. Oh, son of a bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Brother, big dude. <laughs> I'm the macho man. Have another one of bite of my Slim Jim, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me one second, hun.